Нет. 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 Воу, Твич, что ты делаешь? Окей, это лучше. Это удивительно, Твич. Я был очень пьян, когда я логин. So I gotta ask, are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. You ready for this? Good. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, it's saying I'm unstable right now, which is not good. My bit rate is horrible. It's disgusting to me, isn't it? Based on what it's telling me. Hello, Jack. 
I did. I'm just making sure everything is running okay before we start. Hmm. Hello, Divine Koala! Welcome to the stream! my bit right. Yuna, hello. Such a familiar face. <laughs> Let me check the settings real quick. Is there a way to make the bitrate a little bit better on my end? Uh, what is your bitrate at? Uh, let me see. My bitrate is at 2500. Hmm. Okay. Should that be a little bit lower? It can go lower, yes. How low would you recommend we go? For this game? Probably 2,000. 2,000? Yeah. Because I don't think this would be a very overly animated taxing game. Yeah. 2,500 is usually what I'm, at, what I'm at. Yeah, same here, but for some reason the bit rate's in the red. Hmm. Hello, Flames! Good to see you! Hi, Flames! Okay, now I'm starting to get a green bit rate. <laughs> Hi, Natsuki! About to get started in a little bit. Uh, oh, I gotta set that up real quick. Forgot to put uh, the integrated throwing system on. Yes. Yes! <laughs> um, I already said it once last time. No people like to use that. Hello. Hello. Oh, we'll be on in a few seconds. We're just trying to make sure everything works out. I'm gonna try to be okay. here for as long as possible, but it's late o'clock and I got work tomorrow. Totally understandable. Do what you need to do, okay, Koala? Yeah. Ocean, hello. Let me do this real quick. I did get some new things, so... New things, you say? New things! Where'd you get these new things? Let's see, I want to incorporate this oh, one, why this is one, it? this one. There it is. Okay. Hello. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Give me a moment. How's it going, David? It's good. I just I just got back home. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Everybody, this is Deku. Say hello to Deku. Hi, Deku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I just got I, I just got back home. I went to go get stuff to eat for me and Zinny. Oh, where'd you go get? Uh oh. There it goes. Uh, I've got McDonald's. Nice. Cheap and didn't really feel like cooking, so. I know that <laughs> feeling really well. <laughs> yeah. So you went and got a burger as well, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I 
Okay. This. That. Oh, would it be better if instead of sharing screens, I'll probably better use a, my my um, virtual camera. Oh, what? No, oh, whoops. I about turned on the wrong camera. Okay. There you go. Oh. Save it. I need to flip that. That doesn't look right at all. <laughs> it looks... My hair looks weird going the other way. <laughs> Sorry about the wait, everybody. I'm just making sure oh, everything is uh, working right. How do I change that? It... So, that's the weird thing with that, when you're using your face cam. It's mirrored for you, but not for us. Oh. Oh, so it looks... It looks right? For yeah, it looks right. You guys? Okay. I don't know why it's mirrored on. Here in. Um, yeah. Would it be better to do this, or just to do share screens? Oh, that cam would be Yeah. I think it's less taxing if you use webcam as opposed to screen share. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So how is it how is everyone's day going? I'm doing okay right now. How's chat yeah. doing? Oh yeah, I got like I got like a gift sub uh for, <laughs> for from watching your stream the other day. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I forgot who Oh was yeah. Was it Tank? Yeah. Yeah, it was Tank. Tank supports this community and I'm really thankful he does. Um luckily everybody's been able to get a subscription. Okay, I got the integrated system up and going right now, so now I just got to get Deku in here. So give me a moment. Yeah, you're gonna have to probably crop me out a little bit because I got the little fairy thing because I haven't bought the webcam. That's okay. I got I gotta fix I gotta fix you and Matthew right now too because you're in here as well. So. I'm gonna just share screens because it's just gonna look weird for me on Discord. Hold up, let me. Just... I think it'd be just so it looks better on my end. Yeah. yeah. Do I need to like change the green on mine or anything? Um. No, don't. You don't I have guess. to do that. You don't have to do that. I'll worry about that. Okay. okay. So okay. I, I just need to get you and Matthew together. Um. Let me do a full screen. There we go. Um. Red. There we go. That's what I want. Oh, I'm doing good, Ocean. Thanks for asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, oh, uh, I'm gonna have to give my dog a bath later. That's okay. Nice. Um, when we bring him in, because he decided to, uh, on our walk, he decided to try to roll in a dead possum. Uh, oh. What? Yeah. Yeah, okay. um. Yeah, we. I told him to leave it. He was sniffing it, obviously, as a dog does. I don't mind, but I told him to leave it because we were walking. And no, he just flopped onto his back, right on top of it. Okay. It was. It. It was. Really, it was disgusting. I'm gonna have to give him a bath later because it's just like, no, you're not coming. You're not coming into this house, <laughs> or at least you're not gonna be walking around freely with with that on you. Oh, there's my burger. I was like looking for my burger. <laughs> like the... the burger of burgers. Let's see. Oh, I. Yeah. Uh, yep, that works. Okay. Do I need to like adjust myself, by the way, in any way? Um, is... just make sure you have the top of your head below your screen. Uh, the top of your screen. That's about it. Here, I'll 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 just lower myself a little bit here, so it yeah, so it works fine. Right now, I'm just there fixing Matthew at the moment. Yeah. Okay. I am here. And then I'll add thing. you. Give me a moment. So only take a quick sec.
that works. You're gonna be hearing a lot of a lot of paper rustling as I'm eating. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> paper. 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 <laughs> I like how you, I just like how your mouth moves. Matt. That's what I'm. I'm loving it too when I say paper. Earlier, paper. A, a little bit ago, your mouth wasn't even opening. It was just going up and down. Yeah. I was also like when before I turned my face cam on, uh, it just uses the microphone. Yeah. So my mouth just does like a weird little wiggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But here, I'll cover my mouth right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just eating paper. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, You'd be hanging up upside down. Maybe I'm a bat. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad I'm all set up. I was gonna keep throwing out the theory that I'm not actually a wolf, I'm like five different animals. You, yeah, you, you, you take the form of one, but you're actually like secretly like some shapeshifter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and bring you all in, so let's go. Alright. So we have a red panda and two canines playing some bad end theater. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ta da! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> go ahead and turn it down. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hello. We are playing some bad end theater today, and today we have two special guests. We have two wonderful men here. We have Matthew and we have Deku. Say hello, you two. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, uh, you're looking smug. <laughs> very smug. <laughs> and I, I hope you all brought your tickets because I have provided them to you. We are walking into Bad End Theater. I will put out a warning out there as it says on top. There is a uh, blood gore and violence and strong language in this game so if that's gonna be a deal breaker then i'm sorry but we're gonna get through this together <laughs> gotta, watch, gotta watch out for those violins yeah those violins are pretty uh pretty big so... uh oh <laughs> the the stream is lagging hard for me for some reason for some reason let's see yeah i don't I... know if that's it may just be me it might be just you right now. It, I'm getting it, a really good bitrate at the moment. All right, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it did for a second, and then I refreshed, and everything was fine. Yeah, yeah. if you need to okay. refresh, everybody, I, I fixed the bitrate, so you may need to refresh it. So, yeah. refreshing. Okay. I'm just going to do that real real quick myself. Okay. Yeah. Refreshing. There you go. All right, just to let everybody know, I haven't played this. I thought it was really interesting and wanted to try it out uh and see how it worked and how we're gonna do this is we're all gonna be playing the part of the director so we're all gonna be voting on this together so matthew i want to ask you please can you put up the voting for me as we go throughout the stream that way we can actually yep, me... get this rolling in the right direction for everybody to play a part in this theater <laughs> slap yeah. on those mod buttons real quick awesome slap it <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now I hope you're all ready for this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the music because this game does have music. But if anybody knows and anybody has watched me for a while, 
music to me can either make me really excited or really, really frightened. And, or in between. And this music, believe it or not, puts me in the in-between category. <laughs> so here we go. Can you guys hear that? I think it's a little soft, but I can pick it back up. There we go. Welcome back, Jack. Okay. It has this like somber like feeling to it. All right. Anyways, welcome, welcome everybody. Let's go ahead and enter through those doors together and see what's in store for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have pushed the button. There is no going back. Welcome to Bad yes, End Theater. On this stage, we shall be toying with fate. You will make many choices in locking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness a lovely variety of tragic events. But first, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you would like. So what should we play? Should we play the human doll or the demon doll? Or demon. Hmm. I guess we have the first option for people to choose. Uh, if it was up to me, I would pick the demon doll, but that's just me. <laughs> but what does everybody else to expect? I'll make sure everything is running smoothly before we keep going. I have a feeling people are going to pick the demon one. The demon? Yeah. Who wants the demon? Demon. The demon. demon. And just to let people know, I have updated the, the throwing list, so there may be a few more characters you may recognize if you throw them. They'll be thrown at me, not at what, Matthew or Deku, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it will look like we're throwing them at her. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Distractions. Oh goodness. Okay. I think I, I may. Be, oh, I'm gonna try refreshing this real quick. If it if it keeps lagging for me, I'm gonna restart my PC and then come right back. You got it. Oh, Mike. <laughs> trying to find. Just try to make sure everything is going all right right now. Let's um, <laughs> turn that away. <clears throat> yes, go demon. You want to go demon? Go demon. I don't think a vote has been up yet, so. I'm trying to find the button for it. <laughs> ah. That's a human from Caleb. Human, human, demon, ah, Linksy, <laughs> Deku, <laughs> and we have Casey, uh, uh. <laughs> wow, they came out of nowhere. Yeah. You're not, Tank's oh, just Tank, things. Tank is throwing things at me now. You can't see what's being thrown at you. Aww. See, is it on my end that's going on? Ah! Pangus! Pangus. Wow. Pangus. I saw Pangus. It may be, it might be, it may be our internet. I don't know. Maybe the internet. Um, I checked the speed. 
I checked the speed, so it sounded hey, so like it was Zinni just said the the stream is also lagging for her a bit on her phone. Oh, okay. Zinni. Zinni. Unk, unk. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, let me see. Oh, let me I open up. Angus. Yeah, oh. Angus is there. Oop. I got it again. Um, let's see. Ow! Okay, come on. Let's see. Uh, how about we do it? Yeah, I'm all, I've polls. only seen fingers. Okay, it's called Manager Poll, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. If anything, I can add it, so. Alright, new poll. What doll? Oh, there, there, there's the Z doll. Which all should we take? Should we take demon or human? Alright. Mm -hmm. We can allow additional votes. You can use either or. It'll go on for about two minutes. Okay? So let's start. Okay. Mm. Did I start the poll? Uh, about a hundred. Okay. Yeah, there, there's apparently, like, a delay with stream at the moment. Okay. Um, uh, I think, uh, who was it? Ocean is having a delay, Zinni's having a bit of a delay, and mm. so am I on my end. I don't know, I don't know what it could huh. be. That is very interesting. I'm not getting any feedback on my end. Yeah, it, it I don't know, because um, you shouldn't have like too much trouble. All you're doing is playing the game, streaming it in a call. That wouldn't really tank a PC or a live stream like that. No, and the bitrate is telling me it's actually excellent right now. Yeah. Because I'm all in the green right here. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's weird, but it seems like a few people, few people are just having like bad delay. Let me take a look real quick on my end. Yeah. Okay, now it's showing up poor. Ah, I figured it out. Oh, you did. Yes, I figured out how to make a poll. Yeah, I, I, I see it pulled up now. Oh, how is human winning? I uh, don't know. That's just how chat wants to vote. You want to be, you want to be basic. <laughs> so far, basic. human is winning three points more. You can use your acorn points if you want to vote. Just takes a hundred, hundred points to vote. If you wish. is real yes let me try something all right so so it's not just us it's not just you it's other people okay do you think i have to turn down the bit rate a little bit more then you could try what? that things may be a bit fuzzy hmm. i wonder what's causing it let me take a look seems to be working. I'm checking something right now. Um... Okay, I think I know what's going on. Uh -oh. Um, I, I just have a lot of stuff going on right now. I don't know why. have a lot of things running at once or something i'm trying to check that right now no. because um 
just to test out to see if it was just our end or whatever, Zenny is watching Zonic stream at the moment, and uh, and it's not and it's not lagging, so it. Yeah. I think. I think it could be my end. Um. Yeah. You could switch to PNGs. Yeah, I could switch you to PNGs, to. maybe. Let's see if that works. Like I said, probably in the next month I'm going to be getting a new computer, so we can see if that works as well. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, let me just go ahead and switch you to PNGs real quick. Okay. Alright. So, we did get the winner. It's going to be, uh... It's going to be human. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch Deku and have you to PNGs real quick. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, you too. God. You're fine. Okay. Let me see. There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Okay. I'm gonna take that. Please. Please. Oh yeah, the stream is completely frozen. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not. That's me. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Let's try that. That should be Matthew. Or you. Alright, and then... Yeah, that's Deku. Properties. Paste. Okay. Are you still there? Yep, I'm still here. Okay, combat one bat zero zero seven. I'll get you in a second. We're just making sure things work. All right. There we go. Yeah, it may have been like you, uh, like us sharing our screens and you having them open because as soon as we disappeared off the stream, it fixed itself. That nah, it was probably it then. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta be a. Yeah, <laughs> be a PNG. So I'm a, I'm I'm behind on on my end, I'm, and I'm just now seeing the clone tricks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit of delay there. Yeah, cause that was like that was like a good a while ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have about a few minute delay, which stinks. <laughs> so, all right. Let's see, you control the human doll, you're a friendly little guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? Oh, now we have another thing to say. Do we attack it or be nice? I'm all for the chaotic energy. Okay. Attack it. Uh, you said you could actually do it yourself too, right, Matthew? Yeah, I just figured it out. Okay. Hello, Ocean! Okay, I'm glad the stream is actually working a little bit better in our favor. It could also yeah. be due to my uh, internet provider because it's been in and out for a little bit. So, knock on wood, but the lag seems to be clear. Cool. Yeah, it was probably my end. Like I said, I'm trying to get a new computer soon. So, that should be probably in the next month. So, be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a great day when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. let's see. Alright. Let's Ugh. go ahead and put the pull up for this one real quick. You may want to... How should we be? Let's see. The poll says, so far be nice is winning. Oh, come on. Where's the chaos? <laughs> Where's so, the violence? <laughs> a lot of people like to play nice. I'm just, I'm just gonna be the violent gremlin for your stream here today. <laughs> the violent gremlin. Well, it's funny we talk about humans and demons right now because before we actually started, before I started streaming, I was actually really contemplating on being a demon or a rabbit or something. But I ended up being a human red panda, which uh, I don't know how that happened. 
<laughs> yeah. So. I mean, I mean, like, I think, I think the process of all of just streaming, you just evolve. Because I went from a dragon motif for mm -hmm. like two years, and then I switched to a wolf, and then. And then I was staying a human, even as a VTuber, I was like a human yeah. hybrid type thing. And now I'm this. I'm a small gremlin fennec fox. <laughs> who small gremlin the fennec fox. Nice. Okay, it really looks like we're going on the be nice track. It's still... Oh. It's still no. 67 to 33%. So we got about five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Be nice wins. You try to make friends with the demon doll, but it kills you in cold blood. How ruthless. I told you to attack it. You found your very first bad ending, but don't worry, the story need not end here. <laughs> I told you to attack it. I knew it was going to be bad news. So let's reset the stage and try again. This time, try controlling the other doll. So, we're gonna go with Demon Doll. You control the Demon Doll, you're a fierce looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you react with the Human Doll? Uh, since we did say play nice, we'll play nice with uh, the Human. You and the Human Doll are able to set aside your differences and become friends. Why, this isn't a bad ending at all. I should have written out this possibility. It's just not suited to my theater whatsoever. Now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in, uh, in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to let you choose during your last playthrough. But now, you can turn each one on or off without having to replay from that doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game. Oh, awesome! Now try turning the doll's behaviors on and off to see the different outcomes. So the human doll could be hostile, and the demon doll can be wicked. So the human doll could be hostile, and we'll turn that. So we're gonna be the demon doll. You control the demon doll, you're a fierce looking guy, He's just minding your own business, how do you interact with the human doll? Uh, let's try attacking it. You both attack each other at once and die together. <laughs> oh no. So it's just giving us that option. Do you understand hey, uh, how to play? Uh, yeah. Hey, Tracy. Uh, just just for like me and Matthew's sake of being able to like have like so we're not like so far behind seeing what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Maybe like share the screen because Discord would like pro it would it probably wouldn't lag out too much because it would like not constantly oh, show course. the shared screen. Okay, yeah. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll share my screen. Yeah. Uh, I'll do the bad in theater. There you go. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that works. Yeah, and it, and it shouldn't lag too much because Discord like kind of shuts it off, mm -hmm. or like not shut it off, but doesn't constantly run it. Yeah. Okay. So we get it. Yeah, we get it. Okay. The game saves your progress automatically, so just relax and collect all the bad endings at your own pace. Now, without further ado, let us go to the show. Alright, so, so far we have... We have to choose a certain character to start with. So we can either be right. the hero, the maiden, the underling, or the overlord. So... I want to say that since we are just starting, do you guys think we should start with the hero first? Yeah, if this... <clears throat> Sorry, something's got stuck in my throat. Yeah, if, if... Are each character, like, based on a difficulty? Or is it just, like, they're all pretty much, like, this quote-unquote same, like... It's not the same thing. So you're gonna get a different yeah. story each time you start. Yeah. So the main character is gonna be what we pick. So yeah. right now we either have to pick the hero to be the main character, the maiden to be the main character, the underling to be the main character, or we can make the overlord be the main character. Ah! Thank you for your support, Caleb! <laughs> we could... We could do, like... We can do the hero first, and then, like, let the chat decide the next three. Yeah. Maybe do that. Okay. Just, uh, j just to kind of... 
you know, get a feel for the for the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need to do this real quick. Uh, Combat Wombat, what would you like? Would you like a shout out or a kiss? That's totally up to you what you want. You need to put that in, so... Uh, thank you, Matthew! <laughs> <laughs> I thought I did put it in that you have to actually say what you want when you redeem that. Um, did they say what they wanted? Uh, I didn't. I didn't see it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it myself. Yeah, I, I, I had to refresh. I saw that they had they had redeemed that, but I didn't see if they said anything because I had to refresh, and it took away the chat. All right. Well, since it's uh kind of random, I'll just give him. I'll just blow him a kiss. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> oh, I saw green fly across the screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Zonic. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a little bit of time left. So... Oh, links. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. So far, a hero is winning. So... Yeah. Alright, I guess we're gonna go with the hero then. Yeah. Okay, yep, we'll start with like Hero. Now we will start with the Hero. You are the Hero! You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. <laughs> Your life has been rather ordinary aside from the occasional heroic adventures fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby Demon Overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where the entire demon army hangs out. You don't get it. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. So, so you said it's a different story. Is it? Is it like the same story from different perspectives, maybe? Um. Or, or is it? Is it completely different stories? It's completely different stories. Okay. Because I just saw like, oh, you can interact with the other characters when you when. Whenever yeah, you when you get to that point. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody have an idea what they'd like to start with? Obviously, we gotta attack or the hero. We are the hero, indeed. So, let's go ahead and bravely slaughter the evil creatures. Yes. We are not cowards, we are heroes. We are heroes, indeed. Alright, would somebody else like to read this? <laughs> I, I can. Go for it! Our hero is Deku, everybody. You make quick work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. After a long trek, you make it to the castle front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating, especially the one with the one eye. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. That second one is just kind of look at you like you're a tasty piece of meat. <laughs> right? Oh no, Deku, I gotta change this up real quick on your character. You're coming in see-through. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I noticed that. I'm just like, I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost now. What happened to you? Oh. I think I think because you're still using the green screen filter on me. Uh-huh. It Let's took it, a bit of my character it has like green in it. So, uh -huh. so it's like it, you might need to just bump down the similarity on the filter or whatever to bring my character back. Okay. <laughs> Before he fades away out of existence. No. We'll, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Don't worry. Um. Let's see. So 
similarity doing okay so far? How's that? Yeah, it's, it's gonna take a minute before I can see it. Ah. Uh, yes. Here, let me move you and Matthew next to each other. Let me switch places. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, try that. Can you talk right. now? There you go. That's a little bit yeah. better. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do well, super art. Right, go for yeah. it. Okay. Now you're fine. Okay. Alright. So... There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. So what will you do, Deku? Cut through the demon army. Cut through the demon army. Go for you it. Gather your, you gather your courage. This is what must be done in order to rescue the fair maiden. I like the face on the guy in the background. He's just like, ugh, what the this heck? wild thing. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at you like, ugh, you man. Yeah. <laughs> These are all evil demons anyway. The world is much safer with them gone. This sounds like very, um, questionable dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you tell yourself while you kill one after another. <laughs> and on your way on to your the way. overlord's chambers. Just, I'm just thinking it's like, I killed them all. The men, the women, and the children too. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bloodbath. <laughs> The Overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering her soldiers. <laughs> you get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance. A convincing act, but you won't be fooled. It's like, what maiden? What are you talking about? I haven't What are you doing? <laughs> if the maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can see only one answer. You ate her! I wouldn't be surprised if he actually came to that conclusion. Oh, wait! <laughs> She's already been devoured! <laughs> I, I did it did say it, God! I called it! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thinking about that poor maiden in fate fills you with hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. You've become strong from the hordes of demons you took down before this final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. You cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. You breathe a sigh of relief. But your job is not yet finished. There are more demons to slay. More to murder, more to kill. <laughs> <laughs> you search the castle, unfortunately. You find no sign of the maiden within its walls. You come to learn that you made a vile mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You cut her up. <laughs> oh my god, I... I'm making such awful added dialogue here. It's you feel right. hollow, as if as if nothing you've done had any meaning. You feel nothing but sadness and dread as you realize you were too late. <laughs> <laughs> A great evil has vanished from this world, but what does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? Oh my God, he's actually gonna go! Don't please don't go kill yourself, please. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> You stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return oh, the Overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cape to bring back to the village. Surely your great victory will be celebrated. Oh no. Failed Fail. hero end. Oh my god. Oh, we have to be diplomatic. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and reset the stage. <laughs> Alright, so we have a dutiful <laughs> hero. See, they're pretty quick stories from what we look at, so... Yeah. Uh, did you want to go with the hero again, or did you want to go with a different character? See what we can do. <clears throat> we
We were talking about the maiden. Would you guys like to go with the maiden yeah. this time? I'd like yeah, to go sure. Let's see what happened to her. Okay. For these roles, <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and play the maiden and the overlord. So, Deku, you have the hero, and Matthew will have the underling. How does that sound? All right. That's fair enough yeah. for me. Okay. I'll go ahead and pick the maiden next. So I'm the maiden? I'm the maiden. And the uh, overlord. <laughs> Alright, okay. do you want to play the maiden? I can play the maiden. <laughs> okay. You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord castle. You are told that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day. You are, a beautiful behind your back. Young de you, you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. I'm just, real quick, real yeah. quick. Can we just talk about the peep these shadow people? They're just all talking and it looks like they're like, oh, look at this dumb bitch. <laughs> she gonna be captured one day. <laughs> she can't do anything about it. Ha ha ha. You're in trouble <laughs> just, now. <laughs> just God. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity. Who knows? You are in a church. You pray to your god, asking, why have you been giving them born into this role of the maiden? He gives no answer. <laughs> he gives no answer. <laughs> he is silent. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. Yes, I am. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your rule better if you were just hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note in Venture Forest to find the demon, just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty oh, hey. scary. Oh, hey, look, it's Matthew. Right. Shout for the hero to come save you or introduce yourself. Well, I'm more of the introduce myself type of person, so I'm going to introduce myself. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. Please capture me. The demon me. suddenly jumps you and starts biting a lot. Oh, oh my god, he tore a chunk out of her arm. How painful. This plan of yours was completely stupid, you think? Why couldn't you have been more patient? Why did you go looking for trouble? Oh my you weren't God. angry or anything, of course. This was all your fault for trusting a demon not to devour you on sight. This is your punishment for questioning fate, you guess. Bit by bit, you are swallowed by the demon until you are no more. She was eaten. Consumed, maiden. No! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with the underling next. So, Matthew, this is your turn. Okay. You are a demon underling, in the service of the Overlord. You aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friend tells you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. I love your narrator voice. Give me a second. <laughs> I need to turn you up, Matthew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Alright, try now. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away. It's unbearably boring. There you go. Now you're turning <laughs> Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place, staring into nothing. <laughs> you feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. A day off, you say? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you an earful about responsibility and questioning obedience. Wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. What does she know about anything? Who made her the boss of everyone? Complain about the Overlord to your friends. They agree that she is kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off her throne. Oh, okay, this is where we're going. Mutiny. Mutiny, yes. <laughs> you only wanted to vent your frustration, but the conversation somehow turned into an assassination plot. Uh oh, what have you done? God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you should probably steer this in a responsible direction. They clearly did not care uh, about her at all. So, what will you choose? 
I don't wanna. You have to. <laughs> I don't... No, that's my option, is I don't wanna. Let's not. Let's, Let's not. not. You tell your friends you were totally not serious about this whole thing. You're actually cool with the status quo. After all, life must be pretty dang good if the only thing you have to complain about is that you live so comfortably. There's nothing to do. The others nod, but don't seem convinced. You say a coup de tête would be more effort. Yeah, a coup d'etat. More effort than it's worth. It's <laughs> a coup d'etat. Coup d'etat. That means an coup overthrow. Yeah. I knew it was coup, but I didn't know how to say d'etat. But you're still gonna be a rebel and sneak out of the castle. Your friends praise your mischievous ways. The change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. Like a dog. Woof woof. As you make your way along the paths of a nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. Here we are again. She greets you and says she has a favor to ask. Eat me. You consider your options. Gobble her up or hear her out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I want to hear her out here. Yeah, we've already seen the other option. <laughs> You're in a good mood today and are rather curious about what the Maiden has to say. Humans don't usually talk to you, so this is kind of exciting. You hadn't guessed it would even be possible to understand each other before now. The Maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line, from what you gather, is that she wants, to take her to, wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. What the? Okay. All right. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. Oh, nice. You're doing pretty good, Matthew. <laughs> the Overlord asks where you found this maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you were supposed to. You apologize for disobeying her, but hope that the maiden is an interesting enough present that you may be forgiven. Okay. The Overlord nods and says everything's cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. You're impressed with what an easygoing boss she is. You mentioned how you can't believe you and your friends even considered overthrowing her. Uh oh! Uh oh! oh you spoke too fuck. soon! He <laughs> yeah. gives you a look and he says, That was just a joke, of course. She smiles and dismisses me. Oh no! She decides it's about time for her nap. Oh, oh no! <laughs> you nearly got fucked right there. You, you, got <laughs> you first, ruined man. it! <laughs> After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sound of battle. Oh my god! Oh, it's the hero! It's the me. hero's here. You emerge from your room to find that a hero has slaughtered many of your friends and work associates. What a jerk! Um, I don't like me? the look of that. Uh, I do like, I do like how it's the same, it's the same uh, shot from the a different story, angle, but for, yeah. but with him added in it with context of oh he's seeing this. Yeah. Hmm. This game is fun. <laughs> it is pretty fun to see it play out. Yeah. What will you do, Matthew? Show. I shall avenge my fallen comrades. All right, here we go. Well, just so you know, the hero never dies. Who does this guy think he is? Coming in here and killing everyone like some maniac. What did we ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy during his sword into the other guard, who sometimes brought you food whenever they noticed you weren't feeling kind of down. Aww. You liked that guard. You wish with all your demon heart for this hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite into him, tearing flesh from bone. Ooh. Tastes like iron. Oh, go back to you. The hero struggles. You feel his sword go through you, but there is no pain. Only retribution. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. More of your comrades pile on top of him as your oh. consciousness fades. The hero is overtaken. Your army has won. What? You have earned your rest. Victorious underling end. Wow, the... well, you went farther than either of us. Yeah. <laughs> and you got the 
the supposed good ending for your character. Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. holy crap, that was awesome. That was pretty dang good. Yeah. Alright, next is the Overlord. I, but, I'm getting, like, Majora's Mask feels from this, like, reliving the same, like, moments, just in a different perspective. Okay, mm -hmm. I need to get my, uh, Himei out. Give me a second. <laughs> you are the overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. It's a pretty cushy life, you think. Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a rule called Hero, whose whole purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal, anyway? You've actively avoided pissing off the demons in hopes that they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. You're still new to the whole overlord thing, if you're being quite honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You will let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. Oh, you want to be nice. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to a higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What do you do with this underling? Tell them to get back to work or grant them the day off. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm a kind off. and, you know, giving overlord, so I'm going to grant them the day off. Yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> you tell them to go take a break from this stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. <laughs> nice. You wake to a knock at your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. It's a maiden from a nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient, thinking about her impending capture, so she's come here to speed things along. I mean, efficient, I guess. <laughs> yeah, she is efficient. I agree. <laughs> you appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed in this. <laughs> Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I become more maiden-like? What the fuck? You Why don't do really you understand the question. You think this world puts way too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. The maiden seems to have a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she stay and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. They become, they become lovers. You wonder <laughs> what to say. Hmm. Let her stay for a while. Sure, let's See, let her stay for a while. This goes. <laughs> you can't bring yourself to send this maiden away. She just got here. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kind of things. You ought to bring up how you always instruct your army to avoid humans as not to agitate them and get heroes sent after you. That explains why the people in my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You are surprised to hear her thank you. Oh my god, they do fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> You've always thought of humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. 
you joke that maybe you've been lying to her this whole time and that you were actually super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a little exhausting at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not. Oh. You notice the sounds of battle have started ringing through your castle halls. The maiden is getting nervous, but you reassure her that it's only your underlings rough housing. No big deal. It's you... just like the screams of the damned as they're getting <laughs> slaughtered. <laughs> you know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that. Your army will take care of it. It isn't long before the hero bursts into your room. But he shouldn't have made it here. Why didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there, unsure of himself. He is covered in demon blood. As the maiden speaks to him, trying to explain the situation, you made you move past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servants' bodies and pieces all strewn about your castle has really taken it out of you. That hero did this? There's so much blood! Mm -hmm. Why? Did he come here for the maiden? Did he think she needed rescuing? She was no one for this hero to save here. There was never any harm to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? The hero starts babbling insincere apologies and excuses, realizing his wrongdoing, but you are far beyond hearing what kind of bullshit. Oh, <laughs> you have had it with these humans always murdering your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. When you regain control, there is nothing left of the hero. The maiden has fled in terror. Oh, damn. You are alone. Wrathful. Wrathful. Overlord. Oh, that was. That's oh, a thank turn. you, Jack. <laughs> no, I wasn't expecting that. I do, I do. Just like it's just like, oh, you hear, you hear noises outside the door, and it's just like, oh, don't worry, they're just rough housing. And I'm just imagining, like, you hear, oh, that, 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 okay, or so. Like that. So this is what we have now, since we've done everything here, okay? Yeah. We have the choice to make them dutiful, polite, hungry, disloyal, a tyrant, or an antisocial. So if we do select them without selecting something, it's going to take us straight past that point. So we can either go back to your option and see what happens when we select dutiful, but I think it's just going to take us straight to the part where uh, you you murdered everybody. So let's go yeah. ahead and select your hero. Okay, do you, should we let the maiden be polite, hungry, or the underling hungry, disloyal, or what? Should we select anything here that we've seen before? Um. Because the behaviors like... are set to change the flow of events. Yeah. Um, let's let's let chat vote on this one. We haven't had them vote on anything in a while. It's gonna be a a big vote if we do that. Uh, true. This isn't a horror game, huh? Um, I don't think it's a horror game. It's more of a a bad end game. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hello, Kusu Kusu. It goes well. We're actually seeing what the options are for these characters. We already went through every single one of them. So, hmm. I, I do say, out of all of them, the most surprising ending was the Maiden. Yeah. Right now. Just immediately getting devoured. <laughs> Gets oh involved in the plot to kill the overlord. So we can either you can either be disloyal. Yeah, okay, so let's let's go ahead and make a decision for our heroes right now. Um let's see. Let's not make you dutiful. Let's actually just send you back in there and see what options you can go, okay? Yeah. Alright, so I haven't selected anything yet, so let's go back to the option where you were supposed to go. Oh, let me go back. Okay, so did All you right. want to do the other one? Um, 
Because this was the yeah, only choice see. you had before, I think. There's there's a few other choices uh, later on. Yeah. Um, where, and I'm more interested in just seeing what those are. Okay. So if so, let's continue. Let's do let's slaughter these guys. Okay. Because they're because when we get to the castle here. Mm-hmm. I want to. I want to try being diplomatic. Okay, let's be diplomatic. So you ask yeah. if they'll let you in. Yeah. You attempt you to att- go for it. Sorry. You attempt to explain why you've come, but the monster before you is eyeing you with suspicion. I eyeing you with the one eye. Mike was asking. <laughs> Mike was asking. <laughs> <laughs> it's his giant brother. Uh, <laughs> They they can't help but notice the demon blood from earlier. You haven't had you haven't had the chance to wash off yet. Whoops. Uh oh. Shit. You have no choice but to fight the army in self defense. Oh well. The more experience points for you. I guess. Again. <laughs> we just go right back to this. You make your way through the castle, fending off all the demons that stand in your way, slaughtering them all in a in a. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, in a uh, mindless bloodbath. There you go. <laughs> you make it to the Overlord's chamber and hope you're still in time to save the maiden. Hopefully, it gives me another choice. Oh, we didn't see this before. No, we didn't see this one before. Uh, you find the maiden being held captive by the Overlord, just as you suspected. Hmm. But for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Destroy the Overlord or ask the Maiden what's going on. Let's ask the Maiden. Alright, let's go ahead and ask the Maiden. Yeah. She explains that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. You realize you probably fucked up, and now you're going to die. <laughs> and in that moment, he realized. He fucked up. The Overlord <laughs> moves past you and out the door. I just like that look of, oh shit. Just right, especially right here, just that look of, oh shit. <laughs> oh dear. To see her army in lifeless, bloody piles. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. Dab it while you can. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Well, we know what happens with the other option already. Yeah. Because he just dies. Um, stab the Overlord. Let's go with the heroic one. All right. There it goes. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil Overlord. She screams, then falls silent. The Overlord has been slain. You just murdered an innocent girl. <laughs> she didn't Sorry. do anything just, to you. Just the hand, the bloody hand, offering the bloody hand. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you smile, <laughs> offering the maid in your hand, which is covered in the blood. Who of is her the real villain here? Possible, her, her possible lover. <laughs> she takes it. After slight hesitation, she must be surprised at how strong you are. Uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> no. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet on their track, ba- on the track back to the village. You know what? I am not gonna be surprised if she ends up killing you. I was about to say that. She must be too shy to speak. Oh, she's gonna kill him. Uh, oh, the vill- the villagers are very pleased with what a good job you've done slaying the overlord and saving a hostage. They throw a huge celebration in your name. You are remembered for generations as the greatest hero the village has ever seen. Wow. Triumphant hero. That's not a good ending at all. So, I have a I have I have a quick thing. Uh-huh. The first time we did this, we yes. saw your we saw the aftermath of your ending as the maiden. Yeah. She got devoured before she even made it to the castle. So when we got there, when the hero got there, she was nowhere to be found. Yeah. So the overlord had no idea, literally had no idea what the hero was talking about. 
Mm-hmm. That is cool. I like this. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So we already got a dutiful and heroic. So yeah. maybe if we took those off and uh hmm. What if so what, we hmm. What happens when you have those selected? Um would you like to find out? Sure. All right. Let's see what happens if they are selected. You're the hero. Blah 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 blah. blah, 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 gonna, blah, go, blah. gonna murder everyone. Just. Okay. All right. So. I mean, do we just do we do the same options again, or do you want to see what happens when we flee like a coward? Let's see what happens when we flee like a coward. We're getting your Forgetting pride. Your pride. <laughs> you escape with your life. I like that face. Just, nope. Uh. <laughs> you can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. Oh, no. You wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. <laughs> you'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. Oh, so I just skipped them. Okay, so now we're back here. After All right. a, go for it, go for it. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. We already know which way we're going. Like, it's gonna end in a bloodbath. Well, well, you never know. I mean, think about it. You didn't kill yeah. the monsters last time, so... Maybe if well, you we ask... Tried to... We tried, like, asking, and then... Yeah, it but you had blood up... on you. You had blood on you last time. You don't have any blood That's on you this right. time. That's right. Okay, yeah, let's ask. I, I forgot about that. That was why they ignore... they didn't believe us. Uh, you go up to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down, and you feel very uncomfortable. Uh, he's giving me the, um, the, the fuck me eyes. <laughs> Look at the... that, he's taking you straight to them. Good. But they seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> nice. The Overlord and Maiden seem to be in the middle of some casual conversation when you barge in. <laughs> They're just looking at you like, what the... <laughs> oh, hey, the screen's actually changed a little bit, too. Yeah. Holy crap, I love this. Uh, you all look at each other in surprise and confusion. There is no time to hesitate. Ask the maiden what's going on. Alright. The maiden explains that she was never actually captured, and that she came here on her own volition. That was a pretty dangerous thing of her to do, but no one got hurt, so at least there's that. You ask her to return to town with you, to reassure everyone of her safety. The Overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you casually exit the castle. You try to make conversation with the Maiden, but she's pretty quiet since leaving the Overlord's room. Is she shy? She suddenly stops in her tracks, and you turn your head to ask what the deal is. The Overlord's castle is engulfed in What? What? Why? Oh. Did she- no, did she kill herself? I, I don't know. The select options only happened. affect the characters not being controlled that yeah. round. Okay. I know what happened. You can't help but feel relieved you got the maiden out of there when you did, but... Oh! It's the assassination! Yeah. It's the assassination ending from the underling. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. She suddenly takes off toward the burning castle. Panic sets in, and you follow to try and stop her. The smoke is so thick, you've already lost sight of her. What is she thinking? It's too dangerous to continue. You feel hopeless. You stand alone at the castle gates. Your body won't allow you to take another step forward. No, going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Oh my gosh. Bystander hero. End B. Oh my goodness. I, I didn't know that wow. actually happened. 
Wow. So, like, it also kind of affects the other endings or whatever. Mm hmm. That's. Oh, that is. That is. That is amazing, honestly. Just storytelling wise. <laughs> like. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Caleb Perkins. Nani? Nani? <laughs> We've arrived at this conclusion. <laughs> All right, I feel like Matthew needs some love, so we're gonna give yeah. him some, some time. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been going on too long here, <laughs> trying to figure so, out options. Go so for it. Go. Uh, we've already <laughs> reached this conclusion, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, she actually gave you the day off. Oh yeah, because you had dip... Uh, did yeah. you have... Uh, did you have a option selected? I don't think I did. But we'll go, we'll run with it, we'll run with it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, set off your adventure outside the castle. Change of atmosphere. Go for it, Matthew. Read it. <laughs> this is your character. Change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She seems very frightened and screams for a hero to come save her. Oh. You consider oh. your... Gobble her up. Tell her to quit yelling. <laughs> Tell her to quit yelling. <laughs> when the maiden realizes you're not going to hurt her, she regains her composure. The hero shows up and just stabs him. <laughs> <laughs> now she started talking to you like you're friends or something. You don't understand humans at all. <laughs> you speak the same language, of course, which has always confused you. Because why is there conveniently only one language in the world? Uh, good question. <laughs> if demons that. and humans have independent societies, wouldn't it make sense for them to each have their own language? Okay, are we going self-aware here a little too much? A little. <laughs> I think the creator was just like, let's see what happens if we put these two together. <laughs> <laughs> the maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line from what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. I'm gonna say this, if we do not get an ending where the maiden and the demon lord, like, just get together <laughs> in a cute way, just like, what? why? <laughs> why tease us with that? You seem to be getting along just fine, so you decide it's about time for a nap. You take that nap. You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up rudely. Rude? Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. You ask them, what is the deal? They say they're planning a whole revolution. They're going to get rid of the Cur Devil Lord and put a new ruler in place. <gasps> oh. They want to hear it. If They want to hear if you're in or out. And being a pretty lazy underling, you of course reply with... That sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? They kill you. They're gonna choke you. Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. Um... Oh. What would you do in this situation? Mm -hmm. She's actually not so bad, you guys. You would actually I mean, say this? I would. It looks like that's the, me. you're dead yeah. <laughs> option. Oh, God. Oh, Twillin, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for gifting the Cinder Rosalia, Mel Scourge, Neo Galaxy Prime, Grip, and Sister Rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Your friends seem pretty disappointed. They apologize to you, but before you can ask what they're sorry about... <laughs> One of them what? suddenly seizes you. Oh, oh my no. God, I called it. They are going to choke you out. <laughs> Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in our castle, you understand, right? Their claws tighten around your neck. You don't bother to struggle. You're outnumbered. You already know how things like this end. This is pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. They slit your throat in response. Oh, wow. The faithful underling. Faithful underling. 
That's dark. Damn. Oh my goodness. Oh no 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 no. Why? Okay. That is mm. that is crazy. I I would have to agree. I I didn't really like how that all turned out in the end. Goodness. Uh. Well, okay. What? Wait, it, is that like? Is that connected to the ending where the he hero and maiden just get out without killing anyone? Mm, I think it's like so. they just go through. Yeah, I think that's what happens. Is uh, they get out, but they actually attack the overlord. So let's try something a little different, okay? Let's try letting the hero be diplomatic. Let's let the maiden be polite. Let's let the underling be a little disloyal. And let's let the overlord be antisocial. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the overlord and see how that turns out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part right here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna like, grant them their day off and see how far that goes. Yeah, yeah the maidens here. Uh, they talk. And oh wait, I didn't see that option. I say let her stay for a while, or tell her she better go home. I'll let her stay for a while and see what happens afterwards. Um, yeah. you got that part. The, the hero comes in. Okay, so it's this ending again yeah. for the hero. Confused feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Keep her here or let them go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you either. Oh no. Come on. Let them be together, please. Should I Should I keep her here? Hmm. I'm keeping her. The maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you won't let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. The hero is cautious now. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before he can steal your maiden away. She's frightened. You don't understand why. Didn't she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. You take a step forward to the maiden, and she backs herself into the corner. Why are you you don't understand. Something sharp pierces your back. The hero? No. He's already... It's one of your underlings, the maiden screams. Your servant tackles you, tearing you apart with their claws. You struggle to retaliate. They've done too much damage. You can barely move now. Your blood is everywhere. You can't believe this has happened to you. Why has oh, this happened to you? You have been slain by your own underling. Oh my god. Betrayed overlord. By the way, I think I understand what the options at the beginning where you choose. I think I understand how that works. <gasps> oh, okay. So if I wasn't disloyal, it would you wouldn't have died. So I wouldn't like have each died. one, it would because every story plays out as it goes. Okay. So it, these options depend on the choices each Let's character see. makes throughout the story. So you'll get different combinations. That's how I it works. See. Okay. Okay, okay. So what happens if I do this real quick? What I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. Uh grab him the day off. We're gonna go same options real quick. Let her stay for a while. I'm gonna keep her and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wait. Uh the hero was trying to get in the way of that. You had to kill him. You'll be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. Mm. Oh. Selfish, Selfish overlord. Yeah, that's how it starts. That's how it ends. Okay. Okay. Possessive. So, yeah, she was possessive. Um... Okay, I haven't, I haven't, we need to go back to Matthew. We need to make sure he has a better ending. God. Yeah, we need to make sure. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you, 
Well, how did the first one end? The first one didn't end badly, did it? No, it didn't end badly. Um, let's go ahead and do one, the. Though. Let me be the tyrant, and uh, let's go ahead and see what he does. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. That option didn't come up, so you have the option yeah. to do what you want. So, what would you like to do next? Um. Let's not. Let's not. Okay. Yeah. We got that part down. He plays. What do you want to do? I want to hear her out. Okay, we'll hear her out again. And you apologize for disobeying. They are there again to overthrow. So what would you like to do now? We already seen the, the second part. So yeah, so let's kill the overlord. Okay, you tell them you were. Jo go ahead, go for it. You tell them you were just joking, and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing the overlord, you know how bad it'd be to end up on the wrong side of things. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch, Hina. <laughs> and if this assassination deal doesn't pan out. You can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of... Foul. Foul confidence. <laughs> you worry about what you're getting yourself dragged into. You follow your friends outside the castle to talk more about the plan. You're curious if they have any idea how they want to go about this. They figured they'd just lock her in a room and set it on fire. And what a stupid plan. That could go wrong in so many ways. You realize your friends are just a bunch of directionless thugs, useless without someone's guidance. Your guidance. Ooh. There'd probably be casualties if you fought her head, fought her head on. And while showy deaths make a revolution a heck of a lot more fun, they're probably the wrong way to go. Mm. Your friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this, but you can't back down now will have to be the one to assassinate the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. You and your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. Uh oh. Wait, what what's happening here? I kinda I kinda had to get off for like a quick second. Okay, so Matthew decided to go along with their plan, uh, just to save himself, because he knew it was gonna be a little bit difficult if he actually said he was, you know Yeah. So he went for the option, and he found out they were all just a bunch of directional thugs. Uh, thank you for the hydrate, Caleb. So he's actually <laughs> coming up with some plans to actually overthrow the demon lord, and probably come up with a way to actually do it in, uh, where she doesn't die, maybe. Uh... And the humans had overheard that they were coming up with a way to kill the overlord. So the humans uh, have seen that the overlord is actually really nice, so they're actually running back to them, to the overlord's room right now. Hmm. Oh, to save her. Probably. Awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, read Matthew. <laughs> they take off into the castle. Are they headed to the Overlord's room? Yeah, you, Fuck. Don't, <laughs> you don't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the Overlord will kill you for sure if she found out you were conspiring to take her out. You dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the maiden's already frantically telling her the Overlord everything. You shout that the humans are liars! Your friends soon arrive to back you up. Except they don't. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. I oh, no! Wow! What assholes! They cried that it was all your idea, and that they were just going with the flow to scatter a few of your crazy plan. Yeah, the imp! <laughs> it scared you me. can't the believe imp. they tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. You always do better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. You all shout at each other until the Overlord demands silence. Uh-oh. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place. Crushed beneath my heel. Uh-oh. She sounds tough, but lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. I wouldn't doubt her strength, bud. No. You hear your traitor's friends mutter something about going back to plan A, and suddenly the door slams shut. 
You're trapped in here with the Overlord and the two humans. And then the room bursts into flames. Oh no. Uh oh. You pound on the door screaming curses at those who betrayed you. The hero joins you, vowing to slay the lot of them. You wish he'd get that chance. The Overlord grabs you by the throat. You cry for mercy. You were forced into this mess. You're sure now that they would have killed you if you sided with her. The Overlord doesn't hear your pleas. She drives her claws into your chest. Aww. Oh At least she made it quick. Damn! Dine! Oh my god! This okay. is horrible! <laughs> oh my god. We still have a lot for the maiden here. Okay, so what, what if she wasn't a tyrant? What if we yeah. actually did this to where we got to where we are right now? So let me go ahead and play the Overlord okay. and just skip to that part. So I'll grant them the day off and see what we can do with it. So once we get up to here, I'll let them go. You're certain that she'll return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust in that. You decide. With the hero and the maiden gone, you plop down into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. You've almost fallen asleep when the maiden and the hero burst into your room, frantically trying to communicate something to you. You told them a group of demons is plotting to assassinate you. You're not surprised by how nice the humans do care, though. One of your underlings barges in next, shouting that the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons, crying that everything was the first underling's plan. Everyone is shouting over each other now, and it's very annoying. You yell for all of them to shut their traps. You have no doubt that your servants would let their ambition cloud their judgment and lead them to try to take your throne. Regardless of who led this conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heel. Saying that made you feel very Overlord-like. You aren't <laughs> sure if you have the strength to back it up, though. Lately, all you do is sleep. <laughs> oh, she knows it. The group and of then we're back here. Yeah, the group of demons start muttering something about going back to Plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. You and the maiden and the hero and one of your underlings are trapped inside. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. The underling pounds on the door, cursing at their friends for betraying them. The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on their other side. So this is how you die, burned alive in your own room by those you thought you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. You're still filled with anger and frustration. You don't even notice that you've grabbed the underling those traitors blamed everything on. They cry for mercy, saying that they were dragged into this plot knowing they'd be killed if they took your side. They cry that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. Forget them. Oh, forget them. You release the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You'll all burn together. Jesus Christ. Overload's true end. True end? Before you're taken back to reset the story once again, you pause for a moment. True end, you say to yourself. This was the point of all my effort if the true ending is this terrible. You must have forgotten where you were. This oh, is bad theater. Is the pain setting in? Oh, but you should have been well aware of that. What you've been shown when you entered this place. It's a problem I've seen quite often. At some point, you grew attached to my little cast. You started to relate with their flaws, their plights. Mm. You started wishing for their happiness. Oh my, oh my god. But you aren't going to find that here in my theater. My lovely crafted labyrinth of suffering. They're just calling me, they're just calling us out here. Anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption. You're making great progress. 
The choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave you to it, dear guest. Oh, I love this game. This is so much fun. Wow. They they know we're in it for the long run. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, do you want to try doing... We need to get more stuff for the Maiden. We she do. she only has the one. We do. We haven't unlocked so, anything yet for that might side. Might want to turn off Polite for now. Okay, so see. let's see what happens when we do that. Yeah. Okay, we'll go to the Maiden. Uh, we're gonna skip to the neck to that part where we see the the underling. So uh, we did we did introduce yourself last time. Yeah. So what happens if I sit, shout for the hero to come save me? You yell, but the hero does not come. The demon is put off by your sudden shouting and asks you to keep down. You apologize. They seem more confused than hostile, which totally catches you off guard. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell them that you were thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by the demon lord. And the demon doesn't seem to have really understand been listening to you, which is a little irritating. <laughs> ADHD. He just <laughs> he's just like, as he's talking, he's just like, ooh, flower. Flower. <laughs> they wow. agree to take you to their master nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the Overlord. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. Turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens or do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem to like it. She still has, doesn't see any sense to you. You've always told that the demons will one day seek you out, and something awful would happen, and the hero will come to your rescue. You don't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the Overlord what you should do to be more a suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about Destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This Overlord seems to like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk with her more. Overlord shares many stories about demons with you, and little by little you realize they may not be ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. As it turns out, she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages, and she didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. You realize that must be why you never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You've always thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same of humans. You may be different, but really, they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you, you think this place is far more interesting than the way things are back home. Kind of like being to not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. As you think that, a hero enters the room. You're surprised to see him at first, but you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. Confused, the hero asks what's going on. You explain the situation, reassuring that you were never in any danger. The hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. You apologize for causing trouble, but really, didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> the hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. Just real quick. Yeah. Can we just talk about how she is basically Princess Ruto? <laughs> she leaves a note saying, Oh, I'm going to be I'm going to be in the demon's lair. Don't come after me. Yeah. <laughs> just like what the fuck? The Overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. You'll be back soon. Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons congregating. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. You have to warn her. But the hero shakes his head. He says that if this is the true nature of demons, the world is better off with, with less of them. This isn't right, you think. What kind of hero passes up the chance to save a life? The demons have taken notice of you. 
It's now or never. You take off into the castle, an unreliable hero follows shortly after. <laughs> unreliable too. You burst into the Overlord's room, and all your words spilling out at once. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. The Overlord seems to have followed your frantic explanation, but clearly doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The underling you recognize from before barges in, calling you a liar. You're surprised where a part of this, this evil plot. They seem so nice. The other demons come in right after them, saying that the whole thing was the first underling's idea. Everyone's shouting at each other now. It's really stressing you out. You are relieved and the Overlord demands silence. She threatens them with violence and you think she is very Overlord-like in this moment. A group <laughs> of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door leaving the little one behind. You watch as it pounds on the door in distress. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this. And thinking that must have jinxed it, because now the room is engulfed in flames. <laughs> Only you had ignored those demons before. You and the hero wouldn't have stumbled into the situation. If you had just pretended not to hear them, if you left as you were told, only the Overlord would have been killed. But you couldn't have done that. That path isn't an option for you. You think that no matter what, you'll always strive for the path where everyone survives. It must exist. It simply must. The Overlord seizes her underling. They beg for life. You pray you don't know what else to do, so you just pray. The Overlord spares the underling. You feel relieved, but does it make any difference? Will you all burn together? The true ending? Yeah. Maiden's true can end. I, can I mm. can I call something real quick? Just, sure. Just the prediction. Sure, go for there it. There is there is an option. There is a con I, I say there will be a combination to get an ending where they all survive. But as we get closer to that ending, this narrator person that showed up earlier is going to stop us. Yeah, I have a feeling about that too. Yeah. Well, we didn't see we didn't see the ending where it said that they died. Yeah. It can't end like this. Keep you want to answer the maiden's prayers. You've decided to find a way to save everyone. Oh, here we go. But retracing the paths you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really nothing you can do to keep them all from beginning killed in the end? Oh my god, I'm so invested. If there's nothing you can do by acting from within their story, maybe it's time to take things into your own hands. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh. oh! The human! It's us! We chose the human, everybody, so this means it's our turn. Haha. -ha. You boldly insert yourself into the story and use your incredible power to warp everyone to safety. You didn't know you could do that, but what's going on here? You take a moment to get a good look at yourself. Why you do we are look like a heartless. You are you, but why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you move past it. The hero, maiden, underling, and overlord have been staring at you too. They look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What will you say to them? Hi guys, I've come to save you. Well, I think this is everybody, so what should we say? Yeah. Hmm. Should, we, should we put a poll? Yeah, let's put a poll. Yeah, we haven't done that since the beginning of the stream. Yeah. Let's put a poll up. This is everybody's I just choice. Love, I just love... It's just like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you insert yourself into the story. We can, we can make it happen. We can make it change. Yeah. I Some like that. Button. That's just like, throw yourself in there. Come on, you're a part of the story, too. I... I, I think I, I think I did call it. We're gonna we're going to make it to where they all get a good ending, and then it's then then the narrator mask is gonna come in and stop us. We're gonna have to find out. What do we say? Everybody uh, who's says, here. Caleb says, "Yeah, frick freight, frick 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 fate." <laughs> frick fate. 
Should we say, uh... I'm gonna vote as well. Yeah, I go just, ahead and I, vote. I like, I, like the, I like the option, just, hi guys. <laughs> hi guys. What's up? I'm your, I'm your, uh, I'm the one you know as God. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, if you get this, if we get to say that, if, if we get an option, just like, if they ask, like, who are you? It's just like, oh, I'm God. Uh we answer that one. <laughs> Thank you for your support, Matthew. <laughs> Have another. Ugh. <laughs> Well, it seems like Hi Guys is winning so far. By yeah. three votes. What shall it be? This is like really entertaining. I love this. Yeah, like this it's pretty fun. I really like it. Ah, thanks. Will you not? <laughs> Are you able to see it being thrown at me, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, it's, I'm a little behind, so I won't be able to see it for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Hi Guys is... Hi Guys is winning, so... Oh, I'm here to save you, just gotta vote. I've come here to save you who voted that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could vote. Goodness. I may have voted for that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Hi guys has won the. What shall we say? So let's say hi guys. You smile awkwardly and introduce yourself. The maiden is the first to respond. My prayers have been answered. You What's must be. Her god? Oh my god. No, no, no! Oh You're god. really the player. <laughs> If there was any god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing thing claims go. Now you realize what the real true ending must be. Now, 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 enough of this. I admit, I've been encouraging you all along, but a self-insert story, how passe. You watch helplessly as tragedy descends from the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way onto the stage, did you? I yep. am the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me tragedy if you'd like. Darkness envelops your party. You don't mind if I send each of them back to relive one of their many bad endings, right? You are alone in darkness with me, tragedy. I sincerely hope you've been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I can't abide you stealing the show without permission, it's quite disrespectful. I'm sick of all these bad endings, or I want to see something new. Hmm. Let's, let's decide together. What should we say between these two? Oh, we got a bot! We got a bot! I'm gonna yeah. get this bot. Uh, and by Lunar Wolf Matthew, thank you. Discord crashed on my computer. No. Oh. Wait, am I back? You should be back. Are you? Yeah, I'm back on the PC, okay. okay. If Weirdly crashed for me. Weirdly, I'm getting a bad bit rate again, and I shouldn't be. Um. Natsuki says "awa awa" in chat. Awa awa. Oh, did awa. we get a did we get a bot? Yeah, we got a bot. Yeah. Just took uh, care of him. Um. Yeah. So should we? What should we say? Should we say I'm sick of all these bad endings, or should I? I want to see something new. Pretty much the same answer. Yeah, let's see. I'm sick of all these bad endings. Yeah. Then frankly, you should have never come to a place called Bad End Theater. Haven't we already been over this? You think defeating me might just be the only way to see a better ending? 
Is that all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, this does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you've got. I'm just now just Show time me to what fight you God. Got. It's time to fight God. <laughs> we go for God. The stage is set for your final battle against oh, me, hey, the God animated. of this world. What oh, will wait, you is do? This an actual, How this will actual you battle? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Do we attack or defend? I mean, we're here. We might we're as well here go now. All out. We're here now. But... We're here. Yeah. So the best defense is usually the best offense. So let's yeah. attack. You try your best to tear me down, but you can't seem to do any damage. You don't truly exist in this world after all. Just flip. The hero. Call on the hero. Do it. <laughs> oh, is that all? You've never defeat me like that. Wait. You know what? You're right. I won't defeat you like that. Perhaps you don't understand just how outclassed you are here. Behold my beautifully tragic tales. Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? You've witnessed 12 of my painstakingly crafted endings. Your heart does indeed ache for these characters. How could you want to put an end to all this? Do you truly care for them that much? They're still suffering backstage. You know, it's a shame they couldn't make it here to the end of the world. That's right, you came here to save them. You can't do this alone. Summon. Summon! Oh, Summon! God. Call you for this. your friend to join you in battle! Oh! You find the hero in his home, hunched over a sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of poor guy. Are you some kind of demon? This is you. Are, are you some kind of demon? You explain that, no, you're not a demon. You're, how can you explain it in a way the hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, uh, oh, this? Uh, I craft all my own, all my own hero gear. You sense his pride in his hobby. You wonder if the costumes are what attracted him to the role of hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. <gasps> oh my God, we get to the throughout the we eat, meet each character and then just like our own body become the character's body becomes whole. You remember the state of your body and decide that, yes, some clothes from the hero would be nice. He is overjoyed by your answer, apparently. His outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolks. No one else wants them. The true end for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I can, I can make a living as a tailor rather than a hero. Please, tell me what, can I, what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> this is your line, hero. <clears throat> oh, I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to, to face something like this. The hero has arrived. We really couldn't have a final boss without him. You're the one who's been killing us? Murderer! I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. <laughs> Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. You have met a terrible fate, haven't you? Willpower and justice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like that. Um, let's go with let's go with willpower. I love willpower. Okay. Your... Your reign of terror ends here, tragedy. I refuse to give in. The hero uses his willpower to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Alright, let's go ahead and summon somebody else. Who should we summon next? I think it's just in order, so the next one would... So, like, each one, so... I guess... Do you want to summon the, uh... Um, underling. Yeah, the, I think the underling is this one. Yeah. Yeah. So let's summon Matthew. Yeah. Hold on, I will be right back. You got it. Do you want us to wait for you? 
Okay, well, uh, wait. No, you can keep going. I'll just be a few minutes. I'll just be like a quick minute. Okay. You approach the gates of the overworld of the Overlord's castle. The underling is on guard duty, as you expected. They call out to you. The other demon guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're a pretty weird-looking intruder. What do you want? You explain that no, you're not an intruder, although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. You tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. It'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life and never get bossed around and picked on. You think of the underling's friends who had bullied them into an assassination plot, only to betray them in the end. If they better, they if they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. The true end for the underling suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate. So there's a way that even work can be fun. Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. The underling will now fight alongside you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the stretch, Natsuki. Oh, I love his stance. Oh, I love his sprite so much. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm glad, like, <laughs> at the end of it all, we get to see them animated like an RPG. Yes. <laughs> this is your line, underling. <laughs> Wait, what? You didn't say anything about a boss battle. The underling, hmm? You must be really desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. <laughs> if I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Oh. Oh. Oh god. I we got... shall cut the bonds of fate. So, what should we... Hmm... I'm feeling tenacity. Tenacity. Knock me down and I'll just come back stronger. The underling uses their tenacity to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. We're gonna have to summon somebody else. I have a feeling if I keep going like this, I'm gonna die. So let's yeah. summon the maiden. You happen to find the maiden as she exits the church, her heart set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing, she approaches you, having already taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me, are you a traveler? I've never seen anyone like you before. You explain that no, you're not a traveler. Well, maybe you are in a sense, you've come all this way. The maiden regards you with excited curiosity. Then perhaps you might be a demon. I was hoping I would meet one today. You think of all the terrible fates that would hope you would bring about. She is the catalyst of the story after all. My role as a maiden is to be captured by the Overlord, but you see, I've grown tired of waiting. You remember this part. She wanted to understand her role better. And so, you ask what it is she's really hoping to gain from this. The maiden is confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. The true end for this maiden suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please guide me. The maiden will now fight alongside you. I'm waiting for her sprite. Oh, she's <laughs> in the back. <laughs> what is this horrible creature? You wound me, dear maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all the awful things we put us through. Then this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. <laughs> we need kindness and we need hope. Let us have hope. Do you agree? Hope. Yep, I believe hope. in hope. Our true endings do exist. They simply must. The maiden hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Oh my goodness, I feel like we need another 
sense of kindness or we need a summon? Uh, is there no way? To, I, I wonder if there, if like kindness heals, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to find out. Uh, yeah. let's hit kindness. The maiden tries to appeal to tragedy with kindness. So naive. I'll balance your kindness with my cruelty. Oh no. Your HP has run out. You are overcome by tragedy. Oh. If you wish to challenge me again, collect more bad endings. Our health is based on our endings. Our health is based on our endings. You'll oh be able gosh. to reach this path again through the maiden's true end. I'll be waiting. Okay. So we just gotta keep going. Your bad end. So that counts, right? We that, get 13. We ha we still have 12. So we need to see every bad ending that actually get us in a more health kind of yeah. fight. So and It looks like the max is 41. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh boy, how do we go about this? And it seems that there are four options for every character. So you want to try going? Let's go with the maiden. We have okay. We've only gotten one option for her. All right, so let's not go hungry for the underling. Let's go polite yeah. um, for the maiden. Well, wait. Let's set uh, let's set up the thing for the story. So we've all seen what the hero looks like for the dutiful and all that. So we need to collect another bad ending. We do need to see bad endings, so... Yeah. Let's go with the underling again. And, uh, <laughs> let's see him eat people and everything like that. <laughs> let's let him, let's <laughs> let him devour. Okay. Uh. So, what, you want to go for the first ending, then? Yeah. Go Gobbler. Gobbler. Maidens aren't the... Go ahead. This Maybe is you're at the best meal, but you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the human. Start devouring the maiden without so much as a second thought, and feel quite proud of her. Oh my the goodness! Humans. Oh, <laughs> uh, the humans would surely praise you with curses if they were around to see. Oh man, if only someone could have been watching. Time to find an audience for your evil deeds. Oh my god, we're gonna eat the, the nearby village. You're gonna eat everybody. <laughs> The people are screaming and running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. You think, that's pretty rude of them. <laughs> you haven't even done anything yet. Oh my god. Put Let's on put a on show. a show. <laughs> you attack the nearest human. <laughs> He's old and weak, and his bones you, crunch to life. You attack Grandpa! No! Grandpa! <laughs> Your audience's screams grows louder. Applause. You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have taken revenge like this a lot sooner. As you continue your bloodthirsty dance, striking the villagers down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running toward you. Down! Oh! Fail, demon. He takes you out in one swift blow. You're just a demon underling, after all. As you die, you think, that was totally worth it. <laughs> of course. The curtain <laughs> closes. Performer! <laughs> Ooh, nice! Wow! Wonderful. Stage. All right, so that's a new one. Oh, we didn't get a new thing for him though. No. Oh, we got a new ending. So it felt oh, we got more. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So let's go ahead and just say dutiful heroic for the hero, and make the overlord a tyrant, antisocial. Let's make the underling good and the maiden uh, good as well. So, yeah. let's not go hungry, but let's make the underling disloyal. So, let's go ahead and praise that. So, let's go ahead and skip. Uh, introduce myself. Okay, she lectures the underling that brought you here, who was apparently told not to leave their post. You wonder what cruel punishment awaits them. But to your surprise, she lets them off easily. The underling is dismissed, and the overlord turns to you looking very interested. You explain why you've come, and she squints at you. Turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens. Yep, that's where we are. You've been yeah. told that demons would one day seek you out, and something awful would happen. Then the hero would come to your rescue. You didn't want to believe you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden like enough. Yeah, we've seen this part. Your lord tells you again that you should just get lost. How rude. You just got here. Hmm. Obedient or refuse to leave? What if we refuse to leave? 
You put your foot down and tell her you're not going anywhere. You still want to fulfill your destiny even if you have to make your own. She's a little frustrated at your stubbornness, but doesn't kick you out or anything. Hooray! The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you, and little by little you realize you may not be ruthless monsters that you were raised to believe. But then a hero barges into the room. His clothes oh. are stained by a dark liquid. It's dripping from his weapon, too. Oh. You realize that it must be demon blood. Something horrible has happened. The hero suddenly dashes toward the Overlord, sword drawn. Protect her or do nothing. Oh. Oh, I kind of want to see Protector. I kind of want to see that. Let's see your Protector. Yeah. You selflessly throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. It's funny, oh. you think. You never could have imagined this would could be the way that you died. The rules are all switched around, but it feels right- Ow. <laughs> 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 but it feels the right to you somehow. You are glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out all right for your new friend. Aww. Oh, wow. Sacrificial made it. So we end. definitely got a new thing for her. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we got Martyr. And, oh, oh, okay, we also saw the Obedient one, but we didn't do it. Yeah, we didn't do it. So we could go back and see it real quick. We'll just skip it introduce go through let's obey her you didn't want to cause any trouble so you figure it's time to go home on the way you encounter a hero he's covered in demon blood you are frightened by the sight of him and run away you return to the village alone everyone was very worried about you they surround you with thousands of questions and you tell them your story as he explained that the overlord never had any intentions to harm anyone here he knows the looks of uncertainty in the crowd People are whispering things to each other while you speak to them. You are They're loudly interrupted by the Nolder man. He rudely calls you a demon sympathizer. The oh. crowd is growing unruly. You don't understand. You've only told them the truth. Do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you have returned without the aid of a hero, they ask. You could not have possibly escaped the Overlord on your own without harm. You must be conspiring with the demons, trying to trick everyone into believing they aren't the horrible creatures we know them to be, so they say. They're going to stone her. Have oh, the no. people of your village always been this blinded by their fears and hatred of things that they've never cared to know? You wonder how you missed that before. You are seized by the crowd. The voices from all sides are calling for public execution. Oh. You are to be burned at the stake. Oh. You don't want to die. You wonder what would have been like to hide from the truth. You don't like the thought of that. You've always lived honestly. So why has this happened? Why are you being punished? You hear the dissenting voices of your family out. <laughs> <laughs> and neighbors, but they like you are powerless against the momentum. They can only watch as you burn. You can only cry for them. You are so, so sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Executed made an end. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. God. This is horrible. Yeah. Oh. So we got Obedient and Martyr for the Maiden. Yeah. Hmm. Let us see something real quick. The bad ends for... Okay, this is where we have it. Um... Yeah. Got that. Um... What if we go here? Oh, I can't click it. I have to follow yeah. through. So... Yeah, so it seems... Uh... Okay, so do you want to try going for that one? So it seems that... I'm trying to figure out what option that is. Okay, from what right. I understand, the options we've been going through through the tree um, yeah. turns out differently. So, yeah. I think the one we are almost completing so far, I want to say is uh, probably the underling only has a few left. So, yeah. we've already gone through this one. We've gone through this one. Um, the er the hero has more. to be dutiful right here. And that led to that. So what if he wasn't dutiful? What if we... Okay, that was the hungry option. That's where it led to that one. So... 
if the overlord becomes a tyrant and we choose the disloyal option then we don't devour and if we return to the castle <clears throat> and they have dutiful uh behavior um if we don't have dutiful behavior we might actually get to this ending right here yeah so are we gonna actually like go through like every ending today are we gonna try to do that we can try. It'll only take yeah. a few minutes, so... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could try to do that real quick. So, so... Okay. Let's do the underling first. Wait, okay. let, let me go back. Let me go back. Go back yeah. to the log. Um, return... Ah, let me go back to the menu. No, oh, that ain't it. Let's just skip it. Um... I think I did something wrong. Yeah, you had you had the hero is dutiful. Yeah, the hero is dutiful, so I don't think I can go back. Or no, wait, it could be that he has to be dutiful to get to that position, but you make a different choice. Okay. That I think that might be it. So if we go, let's continue on with this, and yeah. then when we get to that point, let's see if it like gives us a different option. Okay. So right now we are at the part where either overthrow her or not so we haven't said let's overthrow her yet you want to do that yeah let's do that okay go ahead it's your lines no you're sick of this overlord holding you and your friends back you agree that it's time for a change of management your friends suggest maybe you should be the new overlord oh, oh. that is you like the sound of that you announce your first act of rebellion that, is to that, take that day off like you wanted. Can we just... Uh, oh, wait. Can you go back real quick? Yeah. I just... I want to show this to Zinni. The, go forward. One more. That This image right here. I want to stick on this. That okay. Time. Isn't that very familiar imagery for you? <laughs> An imp with a crown? Sorry, she used, she used to be like an, a, a demon imp. Uh-huh. Yeah. And like one of the mini images that we drew together had had him with a crown. So I was just like, oh, that's very familiar <laughs> for me. Hi, Pika. Yeah. <laughs> Your friends aren't very impressed. You assure them you'll talk more about the assassination thing when you get back, which satisfies them. You sneak out of the castle to have some fun. A change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass while a little free. As you make your way along the paths to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. Okay, we're now at this part. I'm gonna skip it. Yeah. Um, let's. This one just leads to the ending. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. It didn't. We can either gobble her up or you can do something else. So, you wanna gobble her up? Uh... There's another choice after this. Yeah, we'll yeah. gobble her up. Let's gobble her up. So he eats her. You last time you put on a show. Do you want to change your mind and leave? Yeah, I'll change my mind and leave. Okay. You figure if people are this upset at just the sight of you, they won't fully appreciate any terrible acts you'd commit. Also, they might fight back. That probably wouldn't end well. You're just a little one. You're just one little underling, after all. <laughs> Little this little day out has been adequately refreshing. You return to the castle, thinking you'll take a nap. After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sound of battle. Oh. You emerge from your room to find that a hero has slaughtered many of your friends and work associates. What a jerk! Save yourself. I will save myself. You look around the lifeless forms of these you've known as far back as you can remember. You feel glad not to be in their shoes. You also feel guilty to be thinking that as you flee the castle, to remember your role, not as an underling, but as a demon. I, for one quick second, I thought he jumped out the window. <laughs> I thought that's what this was. <laughs> this kind of thing is expected of you. Maybe you'll start a new life, far away from any human or demons. Or you'll live peacefully, alone, in some deep dark forest somewhere. Deserter. Deserter. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. So let's, Interesting. Let's, let's go see ahead. What, we got. what if we did not the heroic, but like the diplomatic hero? 
yeah. the polite. Um, let's do the tyrant, maybe the possessive overlord. No, 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 let's let them. Because if I was to go possessive with that, it wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's go through the underling real quick. Uh, let's not, or, you know, you can either overthrow her or not. Do you want to overthrow her again? See if we can actually make him the demon king? Yeah, we'll overthrow her again. I kind of want to see that. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and gobble her up. Or should we just hear her out? Uh, let's hear her out, actually. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. And then, yeah, let's kill the Overlord. Kill the Overlord. You tell them you're just joking. Go ahead. Uh, wait, we are here. Okay. Um, I think they might throw you in there again. Is that true? Are they gonna throw- Are they gonna do that? Oh no, you're probably gonna die again. Yeah, you died again. What if we did Merciful? Will that change anything? Let's see. Let's not. I'm gonna do that. Let's not. You're out. Uh, not so bad. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Kill the Overlord. Yeah. Okay, to your surprise, the Overlord spares you. Okay, this is different. This is different. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead. Looking around, you've just gone from one dead end to another. The maiden is crying. The hero is silent. You all burn together. The hero just accepted it. <laughs> Underling's true end. Damn. No matter the perspective, the true ending remains the same. What matter? That's what makes it true. You can't resist seeing it for yourself, though, could you? I wonder what will happen if you collect them all. Will you give in despair, or I will reset the stage? I shall, I shall bring you despair. So, once you do that, let's see. Hmm. So we already seen the true ending for the maiden, the underling, and the overlord, but I don't think we've seen the ending for the hero. Uh, Tom says hi in chat. Hello, hi, Tom. Tom! Um... Let's be obedient. And not be a tyrant. Uh, not be antisocial, and but be merciful. Um... Let's see if that works. So, I'm gonna go ahead, flee like a coward, come back. Yeah. Be diplomatic, they'll let you in. Uh, ask the maiden what's going on. Okay, now you can start. Alright. You paw- you- uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. They're talking about assassinating their overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this. You don't understand what the maiden is thinking. Are you stupid? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just like his face. Uh, the world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. And those same creatures have just noticed you eavesdropping. Oh! <laughs> the maiden takes off into the castle, and you have no choice but to follow. You burst into the Overlord's room. The Maiden frantically tries to communicate what you just overheard. A demon underling barges in next. Calling you liars, I will take off your head. <laughs> it follow it's followed by the group from the, from the entrance, who shifts the blade back onto the little one. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? It's time for a crusade! <laughs> uh, you begin shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves into noise until the Overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. This Overlord is no better than her subjects. It is, a, it is awesome to see these from, like, different perspectives. Yeah. You grip your sword firmly. I, I like that word. You grip it firmly. 
If you have to cut through everyone here to get this maiden to safety, you certainly will. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the rot of the litter behind. And even the language changes too, yeah. I like that. Hello Jalen, <laughs> nice, nice to see you. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're good. Uh, you glance around for another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. That's a Star Wars reference. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and it, in an instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? The underling pounds on the door, upset that it has been betrayed. You join, you join it, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. Oh no. Is she going to kill the kill it as retribution it continues to cry and make excuses but the overlord does not oh my goodness to your surprise she lets it go are demons capable of mercy you guess it doesn't matter now you all burn together wow heroes true heroes end. true end wow that's amazing Let's reset the stage. Okay. I'm wondering if we... Have we seen all the true ends? Let me see. I think we have. The Maiden has 4 out of 11 endings. The Hero has 4 out of 11 endings. The Underling has 9 endings. And the Overlord has 10 endings. Let's see. Okay, so if I... If we play the Underling... And we make the hero diplomatic and possessive for the... We get an ending. We get an ending. So keep that in mind. Diplomatic for the hero and possessive yeah. for the... So diplomatic and possessive. And possessive. Okay. okay. And this one was for the underling, right? Yes. Yep. So let's can go... Can look ahead. at the path one more time? Yeah, we can look at the path one more time. Okay. To make sure what choices yeah. we have to make. The, underling, the underling gets involved get in a plot to dethrone the overlord. Uh, yeah. that's when you become disloyal. So, okay. yeah. But just if the hero is diplomatic, it goes a new route. Yeah, so we just have to be diplomatic here. Um, let's go ahead and see what that does real quick. So, let's hit that. So, let's skip it. Alright, were we supposed to... No, we weren't supposed to gobble her up. We were supposed to hear out. So, uh, let's kill the overlord. Alright. There it is. This is where you start. You sneak up to the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans in there. You watch the scene unfold. You aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. Oh. Oh, wow. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, figure this is as good a chance as any. You launch a sneak attack, getting her right in the back. Oh. Flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. This is oh, the Jesus. this is the part we've seen this before. But that no, was messier last... than you would have liked. The Maiden mother something from the. Corner. I think the last time we saw this, the Overlord killed him. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you for saving me. It wasn't your intention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. You tell the Maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. She follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle. You're the new overlord. Ah, that's a good ending. Heroic that's a good ending. End. Nice. Huh? Two people died in the process, though. <laughs> Hell, like in, in context of just one character, that's a oh, it's still considered a bad end, but that's technically a good ending for the underling. Yeah. 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 Okay, so it doesn't matter if she's polite to you or not. It's always going to end yeah. up like that. Yeah. So we just need her to be obedient. Oh, okay, I see where this leads. The true end. We already got the true end, didn't we? Actually, yeah. it looks like we're missing a emotion for the hero to take that different path. Ah, so we yeah. should... Yeah. Should we go back to the... We yeah. should go to the Here, let me... see if we can get more emotions. Yeah, let me let me 
Let me, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, if we can actually let the hero flee from the demon and then obedient, we could reach another ending right here. Yeah. Man, actually, what so... does the hero need to be for that top path? The top path right here? Um... No, like, from the start, go down and then go up. Go down and then up right here? Yeah. Uh, you have to, the, mm -hmm. the hero will begin his story if the demon lord is antisocial, uh, and then we select, uh, if we go right. dutiful right. option, and then if the maiden is obedient, she runs from you, we'll okay. reach that. And we get an ending there. Yeah. yeah. So let's go ahead and get an ending there real quick. So we don't need to do anything with the hero because we're going to be starting with him. So, yeah. we need the Demon Lord to be antisocial. No, 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 I don't want to leave the tutorial. Um, and the maid needs to be obedient. Obedient, yeah. obedient. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get the maiden to be obedient. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that real quick. Let's skip it. Uh, were we supposed to play like a You're coward? supposed to slaughter him. Slaughter him? Oh, yeah, yeah. let's go back, slaughter him. Okay, so we slaughter him. There you go. On your way to the Overlord's castle, you spot a maiden heading back toward the village. She made it out alive somehow. You are flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't have come from the Overlord's castle, could she? This may be the exact maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. Did she murder them herself? <laughs> Did she was she tired of waiting and just went to murder them? I don't know, those eyes speak in volumes. <laughs> you approach her with curiosity, forgetting that you're covered in blood. <laughs> she runs from you. For <laughs> I don't some think reason. she was that. <laughs> you wonder what that's all about, but then you remember you're covered in demon blood. <laughs> Not wanting to look like you're a crazy person chasing after her. <laughs> you nonchalantly walk back to town. As you walk past the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? <gasps> oh! They're burning her. To She's stake. bound. She's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Are we gonna save her? Save her. No. <laughs> Smoke begins to rise, and you stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. You, she must have done something horrible to deserve it. You decide to call it a day and return to your house, but you can't escape this sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. Oh my goodness. Spectator, hero, and B. Wow. So there's, so there's another way to get to that ending. Yeah. So That was yeah. the bad end. Oh. oh, we got both paths for that. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So there's now... There's two on the top path we can take. Yeah, there's two on yeah. the top path, and then there's another... And then... That path we just went on, uh, on the other end of it, the maiden has a different thing. Okay. So if, if you Ow. want, which <laughs> you good? Yeah, I just got yeah. thrown something by you, <laughs> Oh. So, do you want to? Do we want to go down to this one? Cause one path down here that kind of that we haven't even explored yet. Or down, well, there, down at the bottom. There's another path right here on the top part. These two oh, are yeah. very easily to be accessed. So what yeah. we need to do is we need to slay the demons. Um, we can slaughter we our way be... through the castle. Yeah. Finds the maiden. The overlord is upset. Hero apologizes for what he's done, and just we see what the ending is right here. Mm -hmm. I think isn't that the ending where she kills him? Maybe. Um, but it has on to be on. End. It has to be on his side. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So we have to. But so, still, I think like that might be it. What do we have to set her to? Uh, there is no. There is no set. 
from what I can have, what I see. Yeah, it's okay, just- Okay, so we just reach her and apologize. Yeah, we yeah. reach her and apologize. And we see the option for that. So we just yeah. try not to slay the overlord. I think that's what we mm -hmm. do. So let's yeah. go ahead and jump in for that. Let's let's take these off real quick. So let's skip this part. We slaughter the evil creatures. Cut through the army, I think. Yep. Uh ask the maiden that's what good. is going on. Yeah. Um uh, she explains that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and out the door. Oh dear. To see her army in lifeless, bloody piles. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. This is all just a big misunderstanding. You hope she'll let this whole thing slide if you could just explain oh, yourself. Oh no. You really try. But you're not suave enough to get past this one. <laughs> <laughs> she tears you apart. The maiden watches in silence. I'm as suave as my shampoo. Suave. <laughs> as you die, as you die, you can't help but think you probably deserved this. Damn. <laughs> tragic. I'm so tragic. tragic. Yeah. So we got another bad ending. Another bad ending. Um Yep, there they are. Yeah, um so... just have to get through, slaughter our way through, find it, kill the hero. Try to slay. And we set the sacrifice to martyr. Okay. So let's okay. put her in a martyr and uh, go ahead and jump through it. Yeah. Okay, so we go here. Destroy. Destroy. Destroy everything. Destroy. Uh, ask the maiden what's going on first. Yeah. Yeah. Destroy. Yeah. You launch four. You launch forward to put it into it. <gasps> but your blade oh, pierces this the maiden instead. She has sacrificed herself to protect this demon. It takes you a moment to recover from the shock. The Overlord wails. Why so, did you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you. The Overlord strikes at you in a vengeful rage. You parry, and she is slain. Your sword feels heavy. You look at your hands, your clothes. Blood. So much blood. You look to the fallen maiden, wondering what to tell the townspeople. Why would she protect the overlord? She must have been brainwashed by demonic magic, of course. Oh no! You pick up the overlord's head, wrapping it in your cape, and begin your long journey back to town. You will say that you were too late, that nothing could be done for the girl. But the Overlord is slain. There will be celebration. The oh, loyal no. hero. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Yikes. So, that was... That one. There we go. Uh, There's a close one with the underling. Yeah, but... Hungry. Yundling has to be yeah. hungry. So we have to send him through here. We have to be flee from demons. We have to be diplomatic. And then hungry. So we have to set the underling to hungry. So let's yeah. send him to hungry. And uh, let's go ahead turn, and make him. Turn both those off and just be diplomatic. Diplomatic? Okay. Yeah. Let's skip it. Uh, we flee. Uh, we be diplomatic. Okay. Yeah. The Overlord is alone. You ask about the Maiden, but the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Was she really never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord... 
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I don't know, kid. <laughs> Nothing I can do for you. The Overlord says that she wishes she could help you. But you're the first human that's come here in forever. At least that she knows of. You think of how you probably shouldn't trust her. Seeing as she's a demon and all. But you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion. And return home to your village. The Maiden was never found. Useless. Useless. <laughs> that was the same <laughs> thing you see when the underling runs yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> so we got another one. Got another one. Yeah. But yeah, there are endings we can go for. Two more in we there are two more emotions we have there are three. Yet. There are three endings to go for. Yeah. We can't get that bottom one, though. We can't get the yeah. bottom one, but we can get this one. <clears throat> yeah. So we just so... have to... We have to flee from the demons. We have to be diplomatic about it. The hero reaches the Overlord's room. Everything is fine. But we have to make her possessive. So let's oh, make her possessive. Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna keep us. She's gonna keep the hero. Yeah. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Alright, so let's do that. So we gotta skip it. Flee. Ask... Did you put her as possessive? Yeah, I did. Okay. Ask the maiden what is going on. There we are. But the overlord objects to this. She does not wish to let her go. She wants to keep her here forever as her personal whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the maiden seems nervous as a hero. It's your job to mediate situations like these. You tell the Overlord that if she doesn't let the two of you go, you'll have to assume she's evil. You'll be forced to vanquish her. You leave me no choice. The Overlord pauses before suddenly, suddenly, suddenly jumping you. You are helpless as she disembowels you with her claws. My god, was it a horrid sight. <laughs> How horrible. You came all this way only to be met with this cruel fate. You should have gotten the magical sword you saw on your path. You <laughs> dumb idiot. <laughs> your dying wish is for the maiden to somehow make it out of this alive. Naive. Naive. Mm. Wow, you are so naive. I hope everyone likes my additional commentary on this. <laughs> I like to make jokes. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Yeah, so it's So we take good. that same path. So and the underling has to be disloyal. Has to be disloyal. Okay. Yeah. And then the maiden over here is the underling's plot to kill the overlord and goes back to warn her. And then... Mm, Okay. So. She can't be merciful. Then the hero has to do something else. Yeah. Or or we take off we take off we... all the options for take off all the options for the overlord and we get that ending. Yeah. So we just become disloyal. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that real quick. Flee like a coward. Ask if they'll let you in. Ask the maiden what's going on. She thrusts her claws oh, into underling's chest and yeah. lets out a horrible scream. Lets out a horrible... You back away. You won't be the next target of her rage. She can do... Oh! Oh! She continues to dig and twist her claws into its limp body. You can no longer watch. You turn around and puke in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you look at the... You look to the maiden after you wipe yourself clean. She's crying. Hands clasped together in prayer. To have faith in a time like this, you envy her. You feel as if no god will save you. And you are right, he will not answer your prayers. <laughs> <laughs> the two of you, the Overlord and the Underling's corpse, are all consumed by flames. He's a resigned. resigned hero. Mm. Oh my god. god. This is pretty dark, God. Yeah. Okay, so 
now we gotta get something else. We get, we gotta work on another character for now. Wait, wait. We can... Go yeah, back we... to the hero real quick. To the hero? Yeah. That bottom half, the shape of it's a hero, does that mean we have an option there that can unlock an emotion? Uh, has to be anti-social yeah. hero, please. I think so, yeah. We just I haven't gone down that need path. To... Yeah. Do, do you want to try doing the hero again, or do you want to work on another character at the moment, see if that unlocks it? Because um, we still got a few I'm, options. I'm just wondering, because the icon that's blacked out at the bottom, saying we don't have that emotion, that is the hero silhouette. Yeah, yeah that is the hero silhouette, so maybe we should go that way. Yeah. Um. So we just have to begin the story, let her be antisocial. Do we have to attack? No. Uh, go on to the next one down with the hero. Uh, and the hero's the hero from flees. The... Obedient, okay, you talk. Obedient. And then something else happens after that. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. she's antisocial. Antisocial and obedient. And obedient. Okay. And so... then we should have a choice of some kind. Okay, so we flee like a coward, right? Yes. Yep. We, we, mm. Yes. Okay. Oh! Oh. Okay. You ask... Okay, you find the maiden, blah, 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 blah. You, you ask the maiden what she's doing. Does she know the Overlord's castle is, like, right there? Like, Are don't you, you know blind, it's, like, girl? right there, girl? Come on. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> the maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord. Huh? <laughs> and it turns out the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the villager anyone in it really you look at her fucking confused um believe her story trusting. she can't be trusted uh, i trusting. think that... that's the emotion yeah we need so yeah believe her story oh neo says hi in chat hi neo yeah. good job <clears throat> on your subscription you got that from twillin <laughs> yeah all right you have no reason to assume she's lying to you even though her story is kind of hard to believe. You feel you should trust her. Oh no, they're gonna kill you both. They're gonna- the village is gonna kill the both of them. We'll see. If he tells what she says, they're gonna kill both of them. You tell her, you're pretty surprised that everyone's been wrong about demons all along. Maybe now I should go back to tailoring, just make outfits <laughs> for people. <laughs> the townspeople must be informed Oh no Oh no, that's the ending They kill both of them The two of you return to the village They had all been so worried They praise you for your bravery Fuck uh, The maiden quickly sets the record straight There was nothing needed For this to be rescued from In the first place No the villagers look to you for explanation. Well, let's see how this plays out because they did say before that the if she didn't have the hero there to back her up. So yeah, true. You politely informed them that it isn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. Uh oh. She explains that the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens of, or anything of the sort. The villagers turn to you again in disbelief. They aren't being subtle about how little they trust this maiden's story. Wow. 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 I, okay. I'm disappointed. You totally believe her like the man you are. <laughs> they, they, Careful they, they saying that build. word, God. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you just hear that. You just hear that from one of the villagers to yell it out, like, "Boo, you stink!" <laughs> <laughs> but to placate these fair citizens, you volunteer to speak to the demons personally, just in case. The crowd breaks into hushed whispers. You're too busy thinking about what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. Yep, thought so. <laughs> the town's the town elder's voice breaks breaks you out of your thoughts. 
He implores you to meet with the Overlord immediately, and says they'll all keep an eye on the Maiden until you return. I swear to God, if she's cooked by the time I come back, I'm slaughtering you all. Oh, God. <laughs> you live long enough you to see yourself become the villain, God. Yeah. You figure that sounds alright, but the mood is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling that it might be bad to leave the Maiden on her own. But she surely takes off running. Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together. Her actions have convinced the crowd that she's obviously been a liar and a witch from the start. Oh no, we're gonna start a witch hunt, aren't we? Oh, oh dear. Oh, yep, like I said, like I just said, people are shouting for you to hunt her and her demon friends down already. That doesn't sound like a very heroic task. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, Yuna. <laughs> Your commentary Terry you. is truly a jizz. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help but feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch up to her, to bring her back, and convince these people that she is right, that these demons truly aren't evil, and to talk to the demons in order to, you know, convince these people that they're wrong. You're you valiantly dash after the maiden. Toward the Overlord's castle. Wow, I need a second. Hold up. Whoa, Go right I ahead. Got <laughs> take, I got a, take a second. <laughs> I get really into it, and I just I forget that I need to like take a second to think. Yeah. Oh, okay. God, you really can feel for this hero. Like he just wants to do the right thing. God. Yeah, I know. It's 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 this is really good storytelling. All right. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter deep into the demon territory. Evil miasma? No, you realize it's just normal smoke. Oh no. It's the assassination. You see the maiden ahead, but she's stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle engulfed in flames. You had only taken an eye off the maiden for a second, but she's already disappeared. You get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now, you think of turning back. The maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. She could be impossible to find. She, she could have been lying to you all along. Was this a trap? Would it be worthy risking your life on that chance? Your legs feel heavy. No, going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Bystander, hero, and a... Aww. Yikes. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, we did get to this part. The trusting, but we're missing one in between that. Yeah. If we didn't trust her. <clears throat> Ooh. So, if we didn't oh. trust her, where would it go Do then? Kill her. <laughs> let's, let's try that again. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So she can't be trusted, right? Can't be trusted. Yep. <clears throat> you aren't sure you should listen to this maiden. She sounds like a total dumbass. <laughs> 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 She's talking about demons being good and what? This is completely wrong to my understanding Hello, and to the villagers' understanding. They would tell me to kill you, and I shall go with that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she storms off before you could say anything else. You decide to return to the village, certain that she must have been ki she must have been the kidnapped maiden you were sent to rescue. Glad that took care of itself. You take your time walking home. Job well done today. I did nothing. <laughs> As you walk past the town square, you notice the whole village is crowded around. 
Is that the maiden you saw earlier? She's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. Smoke begins to rise. You stand idly by as flames consume the maiden. You were right. Should have killed her back there. It would have been more merciful. <laughs> she seemed nice though. But evil <laughs> comes in all forms. Oh my god. I think we've seen that one before. We saw that ending, but yeah. there was a new path to it. Yeah. Maybe we needed to unlock something. Let's go back. Go go to the yeah. Um okay. I, We had to trust her. We have to trust her, but something else has to happen. I think we trust her and then we got a second choice, whether we trust her or not. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. We'll flee. Trust her. Nope, that was it. Oh, because... That's right, because even if you... Whether you trust her or not, it ends with them killing her, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I she... Think... Either... Go back to the... Go back to the path menu. Okay. Um, okay, so... You talk, and then you trust her. And then it goes to the bad ending. So, there, we have to play... I think we need to play as the Maiden... To unlock a new a new thing. Actually, look at the underling map real quick. Okay. The underling? Because I think <gasps> Oh that got unlocked. Yeah, we unlocked oh. that. We unlocked so it. So okay, so we need to play as the imp. And it seems we take on we just take the true path ending until So we have oh, to play and the if maiden. We, if we if we get if we if we get the true ending for the imp, go back. Yeah. We get the unlock that maiden thing, and then we go to back to the hero. Yeah. So. Go back to the hero path. Uh huh. It unlocks that bottom path, and then we just go on to the either the bad ending or the true ending there. Okay. Yeah. So. so. And w and then there's something for the imp that we need to unlock. Yeah, look at the imp again. So. Okay. So if we go back, it sets on a new path here, and we unlock an imp. So Hold if on, we get take to this. The... That bottom path. Yeah. So take, take the bottom path. The bottom path? Yeah, like yeah. from the beginning, start going down. Oh, okay. And then she needs to be a tyrant. Uh, just what? These are already unlocked. Hungry. We already got there. We already got these yeah. ones. Well, no, like, once go to the hungry. Yeah. And then go, go up. And, and then, then we go straight. straight. Dutiful? No, 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 like, the next If he's imp. not dutiful. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, confirms the plan is to kill the Overlord, so we go completely along with it after this. Okay. And then it, uh, it unlocks two paths. We either get a bad ending, we get a new event, and a bad ending. Okay. And we unlock something for the Imp. Okay, so first we so be a tyrant, we be just loyal... Uh, we devour the maiden. Yeah, yeah, superior. There are multiple, multiple bad endings for this game. Very multiple, yeah. Yeah, there's forty-one, right? Yeah, yeah. there's forty-one. So 41 she needs to be endings. a tyrant. Uh, what else do we need? Um, um, the hero can't be whatever that option is. So since we have it off, we're fine. So let me go ahead and yeah, it's not on. So yeah. <clears throat> You just need, we need to... to be disloyal and hungry. Disloyal. Well, it... yeah. If we become disloyal, back to the castle. Okay, yeah, I see it. All right, so let's go ahead and yeah. begin the underling story. Skip it. I've got the path. Let's not. Or no, no, no it's disloyal, no, right? Let. We have to yeah. be disloyal and hungry. Okay. So let's gobble her up. And we change our mind and leave, right? We return yeah, to the yeah. castle. Okay. Here we are. Yes. Go for it, Matthew. They're very is... eager to talk to you about the whole kill the overlord plan. You admit you haven't given it much thought and only just now remember it was a thing. Your friends question your loyalty to their cause. So you gotta be disloyal? Yeah, yeah. I gotta be disloyal. You tell them you were just joking, and clarify that you're totally in it to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Let's skip it <laughs> until we get to the next part. Here we are. 
You sneak into the Overlord's room. She's taking a nap like usual. It's almost too easy. You silently approach your master. She looks so peaceful. Time to die! Chicken <laughs> out! Chicken out! Chicken out! Chicken out! That's a newt. You don't want to kill her. You can't go through with it. You turn to leave the room, but you find your friends blocking the exit. In a panicked whisper, you ask them to let you out. This seems to have been their way of testing your loyalty. You tell them this is pretty screwed up. You will ask again to be let out. Aww. The it stirs in her bed while your head is turned. The demons shut the door. You scramble into the Overlord's closet to hide before she wakes up and sees you. There's nothing you could possibly say to explain this and survive. You're trembling. You can't believe they would bully you like this. You feel like crying. Light flickers at your feet. It doesn't take you long to realize they've set the room on fire. Aww. You hear the Overlord trying to get the door open to no avail. You're both trapped. Too afraid to move, you resign yourself to your fate. You and the Overlord burn together. No. Without the hero and the maiden. Nothing. Cowardly. Aww. Let's let's try that again. Let's see the other ending. Yeah. So let's overthrow her, right? Yeah. Okay, you gobble her up. Yep. You change your mind and leave. Change your mind and leave. Yeah. You're gonna oh, do let's that. Let's kill. And then, and then time, time to, to die. die. You figure the cleanest way to do this would be to dig your claws into her throat. So you do just that. She wakes. Oh. But not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. Wow. That felt terrible. You remind yourself it was either her or you, and you weren't able to let yourself get killed by anyone. You leave the room to find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased. Only now do they realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. You are the new ruler of this castle. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you, as you had betrayed you all before. Oh. Wow. wow. Lord yeah. Underling. Yeah, there's a... Uh... There is many oh. endings we have to gather. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter number three. Ooh, What's lost no. letter number three? How do we read it? My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come by to my theater, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I understand my stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you've always listened to the very end. I'm grateful for that. I hope to see you again soon. Forever yours, Tragedy. Aww. Okay. So you should be able to take the last hero, hero? Back now, I believe. Really? There's that one we have to... Uh, no. We have to unlock a maiden. We have uh, to unlock path. the maiden, yeah. Mm, okay. Mm. So it's that it's that up at the top, it seems. So we yeah, need to get to the trusting. Marks. And yeah. yeah. So antisocial and trusting, and I have to be obedient. Okay. So, yeah. Antisocial. Have to be obedient and trusting. Okay. What oh, else? you turned off obedient. I did. Yeah, you turned it off. Oh, oh we're, we're playing as her. We're playing as her. So, oh, okay. You might want to yeah. turn off the underling, too, just in case. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Okay. So... Just in case you get hungry. Yeah, yeah I think hungry. if you have it selected, it'll, like, it'll like skip all that up until that moment. So you don't okay. have to keep choosing that option, so... Okay, so if she is obedient... Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, Introduce myself. Okay. Which one was it? Do I obey her? I obeyed her, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. He asked so what we get to this moment. Yeah, he asked what you're doing. You don't know the Overlord's castle is like right here. He explained everything that happened. He was very surprised that the demons don't seem to be as malicious as you used to believe. Two of you returned to the village, helping to communicate this to everyone. They've all been so worried that you're very glad that your hero brought you back. We quickly set the record straight. You weren't rescued because there was nothing to be rescued from in the first place. The villager seemed confused and looked at her for an explanation, which he has no clue about. He tells him yeah. that he just was there and just did diddly nothing. 
<laughs> I'm useless. <laughs> I'm useless. <laughs> you explain to them how you bat met the overlord and how dashing and roguishly cute she was, and I kept and she wasn't planning to capture you. The villagers look again for the hero for confirmation. He just looks at her like total dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> the hero proclaims that he believes your story and that he just was there just to just to watch the town people don't believe you because they think you're just some basic person you're pretty shocked that everyone is this hesitant to believe you does the hero even trust you you weren't sure anymore then the village elder who's ready to die any day just shouts that he doesn't believe you and says you should I'll be held prisoner this. and considered dangerous until the hero returns but you disbelieve the crowd agrees with him. Because of course you were conspiring with the demons, they can't afford to let your guard down. The whole village will be slaughtered by monsters. Can we just say the sexism is strong in this one? Yes, <laughs> I agree. The hero isn't saying anything. He'll be tied up and tossed in the cell at this rate. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the overlord, not your fellow countrymen. Grab the hero and run or leave on your own. I'm grabbing the hero and I'm running. You boldly pronounce that you're all accompanying the hero to prove yourself you'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in a village that doesn't trust you. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by the wrist and take off before anyone stops you. That's right, I'm a strong, independent woman. But as you, <laughs> as you approach the castle, you know something's gone terribly wrong. It appears to be on fire. Is the overlord all right? You have to be sure everyone is safe. You've already taken off before the hero can even stop before they can even stop you. You scan the fleeing demons, but the Overlord isn't among them. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. You quickly reach the Overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to the touch. You are too weak to force it open. You pound your fists against the door helplessly. What are you thinking? This is all because you've forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. The smoke is too thick. You can hardly breathe. You realize you haven't got much time left now. You desperately head toward the stairs to save yourself. The fire spread faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help but laugh. What a joke. A maiden saving the overlord? If you just stayed true to your rule, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. You let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. We saw that ending in the battle. Selfless made an A. Y'all remember that? You all remember that screen cap from the from the boss battle we did? That yeah. we saw that ending. Okay, so oh, wow. the underling has to be disloyal. Yeah. And okay. so same path but disloyal. Yeah. yeah. So let's do it again because he's actually gonna appear at this time. So skip it. Uh introduce yourself. Obey. Grab the hero and run. Yep. Oh, there it was. There it was. Um, yeah, we saw this one before. Yeah. Uh, the Overlord's claws pierce the underling's chest. They scream an awful scream. She digs in the poor thing while continue to, while you continue to pray, but there's no saving any of you now. You, the Overlord, and the hero of the underling's corpse are consumed by flames. Wow, it's such a visceral image. Just. She keeps digging her claws into him. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, what's the... What's the path So we now? got... It doesn't say. So we have to... Un it seems we have to we unlock took a... a thing for the for the underling. Yeah, I think so... we took a different... Did we take a wrong path, maybe? Because the top didn't... Think so. Yeah, there is another way. top one we can do. What's Go that? Go back to the... So... So... It has to be something happens highlighted. here. What if you... Some... Mm. It ha they have to be disloyal, but a, a decision you make. It, go back to the yeah. Go back to the map, the maiden one. Mm -hmm. So, so you trust the maiden returns to the overlord, and the underling is disloyal. Some and then, a, but we didn't take that path. Obviously, we we just took the normal ending. Yeah, it seems so. We hold on. I think I see what may have... no. Hmm. Where did we end up? <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know this time. We we were the trusting one, and then we yeah. ran to the Overlord. What's yeah. that bottom one? Just real quick. The one right below it. 
Below it? No, the like I meant the one right the second path after the trusting. After the trusting? Yeah. Um Maiden returns maiden... to see the overlord, so this is the one we were on. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the one we were on. Yeah, I shouldn't have been trusting. Okay. Um Yeah, she returns alone. Yeah, so, so I So okay. I don't So we have to go back. Yeah, we have to go back on the same path and actually do it right this time. So Yeah. Let's go ahead. Do that again. Okay. Obey. Uh leave, leave on, on your, your own. own. Yeah. You yeah. can prove yourself without anyone's help. You make a run for the You're Overlord's a big girl. castle, leaving the hero behind. So this is a group of demons is over here. They immediately notice you overheard them. The other thing you recognize from before is the first to do something about it. Go back, you. This is the it has to be. They suddenly attack you in the moment. You regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. Wow. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> That wow. was quick. That should give us a new path now, I believe. What if you're yeah. not disloyal? So go go to I the think map. Leave disloyal on, but I think we have to have a second emotion now. Yeah. Um, so go back it? to the Yeah. We need a second emotion. Yeah, we need We need a second We need a second emotion. one for we need the or the to be something underlying. else. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if you want, we could take the bottom path. We could take some of the bottom paths. We still got one here where the he where we end with the hero here. Yeah. yeah. So okay, so I gotta meet the overlord. Maiden stays with the overlord for a while. Diplomatic, possessive, disloyal. Or we can just go straight to this. So yeah, we gotta be. So we gotta slaughter them all. The hero has to slaughter them all. Okay. It seems. Okay, so we go dutiful, heroic. And then instead of saving her, you l let the hero kill the overlord. Okay, so dutiful and heroic. That was it? Yeah. 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 And, then... and antisocial, maybe? I believe so. If you want to just... go back and look real I'll quick. I'll just do that real quick. Oh. Yeah, why not? Um, Introduce myself. So, yeah. Do nothing. The hero's blade pierces the overlord and she lets out a horrible scream. You flinch. The overlord is slain. The hero smiles, holds out his hand to you, saying it's time to go home. His glove is drenched in blood. Hesitantly, you take his hand. The hero guides you through the castle past the corpses of his enemies. You try to keep your eyes at your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes, but even then you can't escape the smell. Ooh. All of this was because of you, wasn't it? You exit the castle and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the hero's great triumph over the demons. You feel sick, but you take part in the festivities regardless. Oh, damn. Complacent maiden end. So wow. we got that one. Damn. The underling one. has another ending yeah. to unlock. Because he everyone has four, but the so underling. Go... Yeah. So, oh, we we have to unlock. So it seems that. What if he was interesting? What if he was? Oh, oh, so. Yeah, let's take off the trusting for the hero. Let's see. No, I think he needs to be. Hold you on. have to be trusting. Make him. Yeah, make him trusting. But what's the maiden on the next one? Uh, resolute? she can't be resolute. Okay. Yeah. So she can't be resolute, but he has to be trusting. How do we reach that path? Um, uh, we just take the normal way. We'll antisocial, anti yeah. obedient, obedient, antisocial and obedient. Okay. Yeah. So obedient and antisocial. Okay. So let's do that. Tell her to quit yelling. Um. Disloyal. Yeah. Disloyal. All right, go for it, Matthew. You and your friends turn to notice the maiden from earlier has overheard your entire conversation. It'd be bad for you if the Overlord found out about this. Ooh. Toss her in the dungeon. Oh. You and your friends seize the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty, 
save for the decorative skulls. They're only there to make it feel more spooky. <laughs> the maiden is very upset. You leave her in the cell to continue scheming with your friends. It's real quick. Just like an interior designer is just like, is just sitting there in the dungeon like, hmm, what can I add to make this better? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, servant, bring me the skulls. <laughs> 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 but now a hero has arrived at the front gate. He's asking about a maiden. Perhaps the very one you just locked up. The gatekeeper, who must have seen everything, tells the hero exactly what happened. Uh, what an idiot, you think. Why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? The hero yells, prepare to face justice, and other such cliché hero lines before driving a sword into the gatekeeper torso. Wow. Jesus. You're small compared to a lot of your friends, so you're able to slip away without getting cut up by the sword. You get to thinking. If this hero took down the Overlord for you, everything might actually work out in your favor. Mm, wait for things to die down outside before poking your head out. You spot the Overlord and hero locked in battle. They've worn each other down, making this very easy for you. Once an opening is pres presents itself, you hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? You don't respond. You have to carry out the assassination. You tackle her and rip her to shreds with your claws until she stops moving. You finish off the hero next. You can't let him revive and come after you later. Kind of a cheap victory, but it doesn't make any difference. That is such a cool shot. <laughs> Anyone who managed to survive comes crawling out of their hiding place. You are the new ruler of this castle. Your subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you, as you have betrayed your overlord. Ah, oh, jeez, that one shot though—that was that was an epic shot. <laughs> Very much. There we go. Oh, we got the last one, captor. So let's so go to the map. The hero? I think so. Yeah. Let's, so let's, let's see. Let's look. Yeah. yeah. Disloyal and captor. So we need antisocial, yeah. flee from the demon, obedient. And disloyal Trust. captor. So disloyal and captor, and antisocial. So I yeah. think that's it. Okay. Yep, we got. Flee like a coward. Uh. Believer. Believer. Believer yeah. Okay. When you there it is. When you reach the gates, you ask the demons if they've seen the maiden. They have. They inform you she's being held in the dungeon at the at this moment. Oh dear. Now we're seeing it from his perspective. Oh boy. She trusts them and in return they lock her up. So demons are truly evil beings after all. You demand they take you to her, but they do not let you pass. You should you should have expected as much from these unreasonable creatures. Can we also just real quick talk about how like just between the hero and the imp, yeah. how the how the demons look in each story. Yeah. Like in, in the hero story, they are just black shadow creatures that have, with no features, and in the imp side, it's like you see them as they really are. Yeah. I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> you know what you must do. You thrust your blade through the demon before you and rush the castle alone. You're the only one who can save the maiden now. Something else I've seen, when the hero is in plain view, we never see the underling. Yeah. What the f are you doing killing all my soldiers? Oh, he cut out. <laughs> the overlord is angry. You vow to exterminate her. All of demon kind. You clash again and again, but the Overlord is going down easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're both dangerous. Oh, there he is. <laughs> You're both dangerously low on health when. Whack! Everything goes black. Your quest has come to an abrupt end. Unlucky. The unlucky hero.
A letter flutters oh. down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter number one. Let's read the letter. My love, it just isn't fair at all, is it? For them to be forced apart like this, it's unreasonable. Cruel. I had to find an outlet for this grief somehow. I decided to write, and I'll keep writing until the day you find me once more. And then, maybe, we could write a story together? I'm waiting for that day. Forever yours. Tragedy. Oh no, they're gonna make us sympathize with tragedy now, aren't they? Well, we only have nine more stories to unlock, believe it or not. So... Wow, we are getting through this. Oh wait, we finished the hero! We finished the hero. Um... Yeah. We actually finished the underling. The uh, the underling. So now we gotta finish the maiden and the overlord. We gotta let's, finish the maiden well, and overlord. Yeah. Let's look at the overlord. Yeah, we've been second, looking like, at just the overlord. Uh, okay. So I have um, to begin the story. Tells the underling get back to work. The underling hungry. is hungry. Overlord awakens. You're dutiful. Coward. Okay. And dutiful. All right. Okay. So which one you want to go for first? Let's go for this one first. Okay. The hungry and dutiful. This is the nearest one. So let's make dutiful yeah. and hungry. And we'll go with the overlord. So let me skip. Tell him to go back to work. You give him a lecture about responsibility and unquestioning obedience. Your servants ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. Mm. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later adventuring too far from the castle tends to spell death. You dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. All that lecturing has made you want to take a nap. You fall asleep pretty quick, just one another of your amazing talents as the overlord. You awake to a huge commotion outside. A hero has shown up and started totally murdering all your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out to the battlefield to confront this jerkwad, and you curse at him very rudely and inquires reasons for doing this. The hero yells at you, demanding you to return the maiden your holy captive. You have no idea what he's talking about, and he can't forgive this actions. You do battle with the hero, but he's grown strong from cutting down your army. You are unable to defeat him. With a decisive swing, he stabs and cuts you to pieces. Oh. You fall, and you have your fail, your subjects. You spit curses weakly. You wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you were never suited to be the Overlord in the first place. The truth was, you were never that much more powerful than the demons who served you. It was just a title. The control that gave you strength. These are your thoughts as you were swallowed by darkness. Conquered. Mm. Okay. Um... Alright. Yeah, we got to that bad end. So... so now we go through the same thing but turn off the hero. Yeah, turn um, off the hero. And, what's and the coward. Coward. Yeah, we wanna go coward. So take off that. Okay. Maybe turn off well, I don't think that really matters, yeah. Yeah, so we tell him to get back to work. You are awakened by one of your underlings. They brought you a hero who inquires about a missing maiden. You tell him you don't know anything. Humans never really visit this place. He believes you and goes home. To your surprise, you figured he might try to fight you, but you're glad he got. But you're glad to get back to your nap instead. Until you wake up to something completely unexpected. Before you know oh. it, everything around you is being engulfed in flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You have trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from if the once one burns? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you. This is no accident. Those ungrateful... Mm. You choke on the thick black of smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You'll see them in hell. Burned. Burned, overlord. Mm. Quispy. Quispy. <laughs> so quispy. <laughs> So All if right, the overlord so now... awakens, we need to be this the underling needs to be disloyal, so Yeah. Yeah. So he needs to be hungry, right? Let's see. Yeah, he needs to be hungry and, and disloyal. disloyal. Okay. So let's do that. Skip. Tell him to get back to work. One of your underlings is tearing at your throat out. You try to struggle, but you can tell you're already mortally ruined. Uh 
what you have done to deserve this kind of ending. You curse at them choking on your own blood. You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Okay, that's the assassinate. Okay. Uh, bad end. We already got the bottoms. Yeah. So now we just need to go to the top. Okay, we let the underling so... have a day off. We stay in chat. And dutiful and heroic and martyr. So. Dutiful, let's... heroic, and martyr. Beautiful, heroic, and martyr. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, give him the day off. Uh, let her stay for a while. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The maiden shouts something behind you. And you turn just in time to see her throw herself between you and the hero's blade. It pieces your chest and she falls to the floor lifeless. As the pool of blood beneath her grows, she does your so does your rage. The hero has taken everyone from you now. You lose control, and the hero is obliterated. But your hatred for the humans has not yet been sated. Oh no. You go on to destroy them all and become ruler of the entire world. Oh Vengeful Overlord. Nice. Wow. So now we turn off Martyr and do it again. Turn off I think Martyr. So. Yeah, do it yeah. again. Let's see what happens. And she just she she I think they we are... saw the ending. You feel a sudden sharp pain through your back. You look down to see the blade protruding from your chest. Ah, that was careless of you. So this is how you die. Stabbed in the back by some cowardly hero. What a joke. You're supposed to be the ruthless one. That's right. Humans can't be trusted. Not if this is what they're capable of. You should have remembered that before letting one in. You watch as the hero takes the maiden's hand, leading her through the sea of corpses he left in his wake. Captured by a demon, at last you got what she will came for. You join your army in eternal slumber. Slain. Wow. Jeez. Okay, we All only right, have a few so more that... endings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One more wow. left for the overlord. Okay, so we got the last one. So the imp, where do we end off with the imp here? Uh, we need to be a tyrant, or we can let him have the day off. But we need to be antisocial. Uh, the maiden has to be obedient. Yeah. Uh, we have to let the maiden and hero go. And the, the underling... Has to be disloyal. Has so to be it's disloyal. another assassination. Ending. So obedient so, and disloyal. Obedient and disloyal. Trusting. Obedient and disloyal, yeah. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's do that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. You thought you told the underling to do their job, not drag strangers back into your room. Looks like they took an authorized break away from the castle. You scold them, but ultimately you're a little interested in the guests, so you let them off easily. That underling's not so bad. It's a maiden from a nearby human village. She says that her role is to be captured by you. I think we've seen this part. Um, yeah. We tell her to go home, right? Yeah. I believe so. Mm, you love to have no fun. you're supposed to let the hero come and oh let her stay for a while okay let her stay for a while and then let the hero uh let them go yeah okay oh take okay. retribution take retribution you pierce their chest with your claws they scream the hero backs away he is wise not to interfere they've stopped moving but you keep digging and twisting your claws into them it doesn't make you feel any better the underling's corpse burns along with you and the two humans. Spiteful overlord end. And that's... oh! A letter flutters letter down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter number four. <clears throat> Let's read the fourth letter. Do you remember when we first met? I had just finished one of my scripts. One I was quite proud of, in fact, as I read it aloud, you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so rude. You wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet you managed to convince me it really would be better if everyone could live in the harmony, however unrealistic that felt. I look back fondly on that day. Even now, I wonder if somewhere you were thinking of it, too. Forever yours, tragedy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, there's only three more endings. And I think they're all the Maiden. Yeah, the Maiden is the last one. So let's yeah. see hers real quick. Um, so... You, let's take the top path yeah. and just finish that off. Okay, so be trusting. Maiden returns to the Overlord throne. Has to be disloyal and captor. Okay. So, oh, she's just gonna rot in the cell. Antisocial. Um, antisocial, trusting, disloyal, and captor. So antisocial, dis, loyal and captor. Yeah. Disloyal and captor. Okay. And trusting. Oh, oh. oh. sorry. Let me uh, let me go through it. Uh, you might be able to just go straight through it. Yeah, let's since see. Since you didn't select anything. Obey her? No. Rose seems to think you're lying to him. <laughs> Return to the village alone. Everyone, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be burned to stake, ain't I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, reset yeah, the stage. Hey, we were supposed oh, yeah. to be trusting. Yeah. Trusting, yep. yeah. Okay. So now we go through it again. Again and again. Obey her? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, grab the hero own. and run. Grab the hero and run. No, it's supposed to be leave oh. on your own. Leave on my own. Oh, was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, oh. because she's alone when she's captured. Okay, we'll do that. That's right. Uh, obey Bear. her. Leave on your own. Leave on your own. Immediately notice you overheard them and decide to lock you in the dungeon before you can cause any trouble. You cry out, but the demons ignore your protests. I can't believe you escape possibly being thrown in the cell block back in your village, only be tossed in this awful place. This is terrible. It's gonna keep those demons from harming the Overlord. You hope you can fend for yourself. You sure you can't? You hear the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside. Did the hero follow you? He's out there. Your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. You continue to wait, but no one comes for you. Unable to escape, you oh walk in that right. cell. Oh my god. Imprisoned. Alright. Now the two bottom paths. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think they have similar paths, yeah. Yeah, it's just the bottom paths, okay. So, we just need to meet the Overlord. Uh, hero needs to be diplomatic, and the Overlord has to be possessive, possessive. and disloyal. So, so diplomatic. Uh, possessive and disloyal. Okay, so, so just... uh, disloyal and possessive. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Skip it. Introduce. But the Overlord rejects to the hero's suggestion. You tell her you plan on returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous. The hero puts on a brave face for you. If you go ahead. Oh. <clears throat> if you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave me no choice. The Overlord suddenly jumps the hero and tears into him with her claws. You want to cry out, but the scream catches in your throat. You watch because you can't look away. Had she really been lying to you all along? You wonder if this is your punishment for questioning the divine plan. The Overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the Overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. But the Overlord stops, or rather, someone has stopped her. Whatever held back your screen before doesn't stop you this time. The Overlord is being ripped to shreds by one of her demon underlings. You think you recognize them, but it's hard to tell with the blood. Everyone stop moving now. The room is silent, save for the underlings' heavy breathing. You thank them for what they've done, even though it was awful. You feel you've been rescued from a terrible fate. They look at you confused for a moment, but then puff at their chest. You should probably go home. This place is dangerous. You follow their advice and make your way out of the castle. You decide never to leave home again for the rest of your life. Escape. Yeah. And, and then the last... just without the imp. Just yeah. turn off the amp. Here we go. All right, here we go. Last, Last ending. ending. Last ending. All right. She vows to keep you very safe from now on. Oh. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. 
you belong to the overworld now. Wow, okay. Captured Maiden A. And the final letter. A letter flutters down from beyond the curtain. You found lost letter number two. Let's see, the lost letter. My love, I finally fulfilled the childhood dream of mine. Yes, that's right. I opened up my very own theater. You would be so proud if you could only see it. I know how much it would have meant to you to be at my side in the opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you, but I thought if my theater could become world famous, then maybe you just might hear of it wherever you are. Forever yours, tragedy. All right, it is time to actually make sure this works this time. All so, right, so you have to do the maiden true ending. The maiden true ending, yeah. So we have to make sure everybody is good in this one. So she's antisocial. Um, be obedient. The hero is trusting. Uh, either we can go that way, or I can be, or he can be diplomatic, disloyal. And merciful. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Be diplomatic, disloyal, and merciful. And merciful. Okay. Let's yeah. do it that way. Introduce. Let's get all through right. all of this. So you're back. Are you ready to challenge me once more? Here we go, everybody. Oh, I will I find will. my. Go for it. Say it. I will find my true. I will find my true ending. Matthew? I will find my true ending. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That was funny. <laughs> the stage is set for your final battle against me, the god of this world. Behold my tragic tales. Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? You've witnessed all 41 of my painstakingly crafted endings. You must be as much of a masochist as me. I commend your thoroughness. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. They're still suffering backstage. You know it's a shame they couldn't make it here to the end of the world. That's right. You came here to save them. You can't do this alone. So, who shall we summon first? Up to you. We haven't summoned her before, but let's summon the Overlord. Yeah, we'll summon her first this time. You enter the Overlord's room, relieved to see the fire contained and the torches on the walls. When you close the door behind, the Overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? You explain that no, you are not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. You ask why she spends all day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. She laughs in response. Many of my underlings certainly think I should be more aggressive with the humans like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. You can't help but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new backstory. <laughs> I have no interest in waging war on the humans. I merely wish to be left alone, to live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. You realize she must be actually very lonely, only surrounded by soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. The true end for this overlord suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change her fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I will follow you. The overlord will now fight alongside you. I see. Oh, so I like this that. is tragedy. Ah, you've brought the Overlord. I don't stand a chance now. You've prevented me from attaining peace for so long. Prepare to die. <laughs> I hope you're prepared to face your deaths as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Oh. All right, that didn't take too much from us. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's give... Summon... Yeah, she has to give ambition. The... Yeah, ambition. I'll reach my true ending with my own power. The Overlord uses her ambitious nature to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Let's summon the hero last. Oh, I summoned him. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, yeah. You find the hero right. in his home hunched over a sewing table. 
A sudden intrusion scares the hell out of poor guy. Uh, are you some kind of demon? You explain that? No, you're not a demon. You're... How can you explain it in the way a hero can understand? Instead, you ask what he's sewing. Oh, this? I craft my own hero gear. You sense his pride in his hobby. You wonder if the costumes are what attracted him to the role of hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. You remember the state of your body and decide that yes, some clothes from the hero would be nice. He is overjoyed by your answer and apparently his outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk. So no one else wants them. The true end for this hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I could make a living as a tailor rather than a hero? Please, tell me what can I, what I can do to reach that dream. The hero will now fight alongside you. I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. The hero has arrived. We really couldn't have a final boss without him. You're the one who's been killing us? Murderer! I can't truly call myself a hero until I see you defeated. We'll see I will that. change my fate. Sorry. <laughs> Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Oh, that one. All right. Let's do justice this time. Justice. The hero tries losing his belief in justice to fight tragedy. That justice applies to you too, does it? Not. You will pay for your own misdeeds. Maybe willpower will it's be gotta it. Gotta be willpower. Yeah. It's a choice. Your reign of terror ends here, tragedy. I refuse to give in. Oh god, my voice cracked. <laughs> <laughs> the hero uses his willpower to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. I will summon the underling. You approach the gates of the Overlord's castle. The underling is on guard duty, as you expected. They call out to you from the demon guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're a pretty weird looking intruder. What do you want? He explained that no, you're not an intruder, <laughs> although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. You tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling stickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. It'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life and never get bossed around or picked on. You think of the underling's friends who had bullied them into an assassination plot only to betray them in the end. If they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. The true end for the underling certainly becomes clear. You offer to change their fate. So there's a way that even work can be fun. Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. The underling will now fight alongside you. Wait, yes. what? You didn't say anything about a boss battle. The underling, hmm? You must be desperate to call on such unreliable ally. <laughs> if I beat this guy, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Tenacity. Yeah, tenacity. You knock me down and I'll just come back stronger. The underling uses their tenacity to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Time to summon the maiden. You happen to find the maiden as she exits the church. Her heart is set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you, having already taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me. Are you the Traveler? I've never seen anyone like you before. You explain that now you're not a Traveler. Well, maybe you are, in a sense. You've come all this way. The Maiden regards you with excited curiosity. Then perhaps you might be a demon. I was hoping I would meet one today. You think of all the terrible fates that hope would bring about. She is the catalyst of the story, after all. My role as a Maiden is to be captured by the Overlord. But you see, I've grown so tired of waiting. You remember this part. She wanted to understand her role better, and so... You ask what it is she's really hoping to gain from this. The maiden is confused by your question. Perhaps it was simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. True end for this maiden suddenly becomes clear. 
you offer to change her fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please guide me. The maiden will now fight alongside you. What is this horrible creature? You wound me, dear maiden. Is tragedy really such a terrible thing to behold? I remember now. I remember all those awful things you put us through. And this should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. <laughs> now that the whole party is here, you can, skin, you solve my final puzzle. Which combination of behaviors will open the path to your true ending? Show me. I will show hope. And the maiden. Our true endings do exist. They simply must. The maiden hopes with all her heart to overcome tragedy. This is it. With everyone's heart united, you take aim toward your best possible futures. You all unleash in one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. Yeah! All right! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> You've done it. You managed to defeat me. A tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it. I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Starring Hero as himself. Thank you, Hero. Thank you, Maiden. Thank you, Underling. Thank you, Overlord. Enough of this nonsense! We defeated you, so die already! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be making my exit shortly. And finally, thank you most of all. We couldn't have made it here without you. Yes, my bad end theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it? I wonder. Honestly, I'm satisfied. Should we say we're satisfied or should we say no? We want them to be happy. I honestly I honestly say I'm satisfied. Like Wait, which one's the, which one would technically be the good ending? I would say no. You would say no? I would say no. Say no. Let's try it, I guess. Oh. Well, I did my best. <laughs> Let's say we're satisfied. <laughs> Thank you, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Happy endings shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. But you've earned this one. Here's your true ending. Come on. Oh. He becomes Thank a you. tailor. Yeah. He becomes a tailor. Haha! -ha, no, look no, at no. my new stitch patterns! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he own. goes on. Oh, a rockstar, a fashion model. He becomes a show business. Yeah. Oh, she becomes public relations. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and they, they, get they end up together. Yes. Yay. Yay! Like, honestly, I would have been disappointed if they didn't end up together at the end of this. Right. And the manuscript. Oh, this was such a good game. I it like was. this. This was very good. There's the bad in theater. Still, it's a very sad ending for the actual writer. Yeah. If you think about it. Maybe. He was doomed to have a bad ending from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Those are all the four letters we collected. I wonder what... Yeah. I wonder what that was about. They got back together. Oh, Your the, true end. Your true end. So the writer of the bad ending theater. Something's missing. Something's missing. Oh, something new. Oh my God, this never ends. Oh, hello. Oh, you're still here. 
The curtain has closed for the final time. I'm shutting down my theater. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell after all. There is one more. There's one more. Me? You'd like to know why I started this theater? <laughs> it's because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. You gently raise your fingers to the cracks in my mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart into your hands, revealing... I should have warned you. This might affect what you think of my stories. Can't help but compare my face to the maidens. I'm not her, but it's not like she isn't me, necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. Would you like to hear not another ending, but the truth? Tell me. Oh. All right. One last story. You may already know this, but it doesn't have a happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there are no such things as demons, or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out, to fulfill some sort of destiny that was part true. She met someone. Another girl. <laughs> a running theme, isn't it? The maiden and the overlord. The two were inseparable, and for a time, everything was just wonderful. But their families communities they came from. Oh. Neither would approve of their relationship. Oh my god. That is the reality for many. This pair was no different. Despite their best efforts, the world was intent on pulling them apart. She... No, we... We used to like the types of stories where love conquers all. Where the strength of your love will pull you through any hardship. And anything and everything is okay in the end. I lost her. And then I started this theater. But this story or does have a happy ending. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> oh. I was hoping to find you. It's you. It's been oh my so God, I'm long. Crying. I thought I'd never see you again. You always think of the worst endings. <laughs> oh my I God, wasn't about to give up it. just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? I feel like such a fool. I could say the same to you. You knew I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So of course I would be drawn to a place like this. Yes, but I didn't think it would actually work. <laughs> Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. Mm-hmm. I love you, too. Now, truly, everyone can live happily ever after. Tragedy's end. Oh, that hit <laughs> way too close to home for me. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> I was not expecting that at all. Wow. Or, I'm actually tearing up over here. Holy shit. <laughs> I kind of oh, am too. Yeah, that... God, that was that, beautiful. That... And now kind of going back through this, you can kind of see the signs of it all. Like that this was a true this was the true story behind it all. Yeah. <laughs> oh. God. Wow. Thank you, Caleb. Oh, <laughs> this was amazing. Oh my god. Oh. It really did end happily <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Oh Yuna, you were right. If you don't know, Yuna is actually um, Matthew's wife. And I asked her if I should actually do this. And she did say, yeah, do it. 
and I'm happy it ended like this. <laughs> this is... This was very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this hit, this hit way too close to home for me at the end there. I'm, oh. so I'm sorry, Deku. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Holy shit. I just... <laughs> I just, oh my god, that was, that was a really good story. It was oh. very beautiful. I was not expecting that at the end. Oh. That kind of takes my heart and just basically gives it a huge hug. Oh my god. This, that was, oh, I'm glad I joined in for this one. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> you were both here to play this part. This was amazing. Yeah. And just at the end... It ended with a happy ending, not a bad ending yeah. at all. Yeah. <laughs> they put a close oh. sign. On they did put a close sign on the door. Oh. Look. Yeah, oh. I didn't even see that. No oh. more. There's no more. It's kind of like Undertale now. You did everything, and now yeah. they can live happily. What's the what's the arrows for on over the enter? Like, is there like options? Or Settings, oh, music, no, just... yeah. Uh, what happens if you hit enter again? Just, just does it? It just takes me back, probably. There's nothing more to see, my love. But if you'd like to reset, if you really want to experience everything all over again, I'm happy to oblige. So we begin the resetting process. Never mind. Never mind. Mm -hmm. You're so fickle. Let me know if you change your mind. <laughs> that is cool. What? You guys are being really emotional, and I can faintly hear it in the delay of the stream. <laughs> Matthew just giggling like a fool. Like, he knows what happens. <laughs> I didn't know what happened. He, he didn't know. He didn't know. We were all we were all. No, I, I literally have not heard of this game until you brought it up to me today. Google, like, oh, he has to know. No, <laughs> no, but his his wife is the one who recommended it. Yeah, we we jumped into this game not knowing what to expect, and yeah. anybody who watched this with us, you got a real treat out of it. Okay, yeah. so I, I'm very happy this all worked out. <laughs> Yeah. By the way, Neo, I saw your question. Sorry, I didn't answer. Um, I have thought about that before being a narrator. I I have I do have like a somewhat passion for storytelling and doing stuff like that. If, if you can't tell about how into just talk, just the how how I got into telling the story. Uh. Oh, you're welcome. But Caleb. um. But yeah, that oh. Oh, that was. It was beautiful. that was such a good game. Mm -hmm. I love. I, I that's it's one of those times. It's just one of those times where it's like, yes, a short indie game could be one of the best games you play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Goodness, I'm still, I'm still have chills from that. Really, I'm still reeling <laughs> from it. The reveal at the end, where it's just like, yeah, it's her love that, um, that was watching it the whole. That was there trying to put herself in to fix it and everything that mm -hmm. that yeah. was such a good twist i love that Gosh. and there's so much imagery throughout the story now that you think about it too yeah, yeah. like i was kind of like i was I, I wouldn't say i was seeing it but i was just like i was seeing like image like just like definitely imagery of like oh there's a lot of rejection in this there is like I started seeing things that just kind of brought my own memories back to life, and I'm just like, "Oh, I oh I I I see this. What why what's going on here? There's something way more to this than just what this than what meets the eye. On. Yeah, yeah. Greatest stream by far. Yeah. <laughs> Those who were present <laughs> to watch it. So yeah. I was glad Deku and Matthew were here to actually experience it. So, yeah. you know, I was like, uh, I don't want to experience this by myself. I think we should have a few more people here with us. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was fun. I'm, I'm sad that Linksy didn't get to experience this with us. I think she would have loved it too. God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was she at? She was gonna work on some things for herself. I, I'm gonna keep that uh, secret. <laughs> oh, okay. But 
yeah, she had other things to work on, but I was glad you two were here. We, we experienced this wonderful thing together. And just the ending music itself, that was a treat as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really like that. Oh. I was glad all of you were here along for the journey. And those of you that are still here, thank you so much for being with us, streaming with us and everything. It just means a lot. And I want to say thank you to Twillin for the five subs that you've given out to the community here. That's really appreciated. And I want to say thank you to all of you who decided to take part in being here and talking with us. It was fun. So thank you for using the points. Thank you for throwing all the support at my head. <laughs> and thank you in general for just, you know, just being here on a Sunday night or day, you know, really appreciate it. <laughs> Throwing support, you say? Throwing su No, don't you dare. <laughs> Zonic! <laughs> hey, I'm not Zonic, but okay. <laughs> uh, and, and a gift. <laughs> Thanks for your gift of support, Deku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see who we can raid tonight before we go. Yeah. Um... Okay, there's a few people on right now. Uh, we can either we can either raid Mama Bedlam. Uh, she's playing Monster Hunter right now, or we can raid. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I see Ra I see Razor Tim on at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's out. doing a drunk. Thanks, stream Neo. Right now. He's doing a what? A drunk stream right now. Oh, I, I don't want to send somebody to that. <laughs> um. Or we could do... Yeah, let's send people to Ma Bedlam. Why not? I'll go at Zonic again. Thank you for your support. Zonic! <laughs> that Zonic's you! No, Zonic, what are you doing? <laughs> You're throwing me with all hold those on. stuffies. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Thank Zonic. you for your subscription, Zonic. <laughs> Shall you what? Zonic. Shall you Shall what? I? Where, where are we going? I? What are you doing? Oh no, Shall you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> What's happening? Ah, he redeemed everything. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, no, I was going to do a funny, how dare you all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Matthew did it again. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and uh, raid Mama Bedlam. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Mama Bedlam. There we go. <laughs> Alright, everybody, you have a wonderful night, and I wish you all a very safe and if you're having a holiday tomorrow, have a safe holiday as well. I wish you all the best. And take care. What, do you guys have anything to say before I stop? Uh, 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 now my brain shut off, damn it. <laughs> if you haven't, go see Deku in his stream. He is part of the, de part of the community in Discord. He has his own Twitch. So if you'd like to put that in there as well, uh, I could allow it. Uh, send me the link. It, ow. Uh, ow. Yeah, I'll just... <laughs> ow. <laughs> Who's doing that? Zeddy Zonic. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send it. I'll send you the link in DMs. Hold up. You yeah, know, do like... that real quickly, and I'll connect it. Oh, goodness. Ack, ack, ack. It yeah. doesn't since, stop. Since, since I'm being plugged, I'm I'm getting closer to 200 followers, and I'm get I'm kind of I'm just slowly getting Ack. there. Ack. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're all doing it. <laughs> here's Deku's here's Deku's uh link. So if you want to see him, I also have Matthews as well. He's linked below here in my about page. He's always there. You can click to see Matthew if you haven't. So thank you so much, you two. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> That's oh. 500 points down the drain. <laughs> <laughs>
I actually just realized that's uh, my old URL. <laughs> yeah, I guess oh. you can put your link in there too, Matthew. I allow it. You're a mod, so. Okay. Yeah. And those of you that are listening to music right now, this is actually my chill music, so just my music. <laughs> all right, we're going to start the raid. But thank you for coming, everybody, and I wish you all the best. Bye! Goodbye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>